Hey, what's going on guys? This is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another live stream. Today we're doing some more champion requests with no limited time mode. Never mind. With the limited time mode? <laughs> Wait, why is it still here? I was about to say with no limited time mode this time, which means I can actually play real matches today, but no. Okay, uh, weird. Four hours left and 44 minutes left on Cards to the Max. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyways, yeah, we're just doing some normal champion requests today. We've already got Cassie and Eternal Azan. Ready to go for us? Great. I... Let's just jump right in. If you want to join, please say your name in the chat, and I will invite and we'll get the show on the road. Dark Jaguar 996. Wabam. Bebo, the blue god. I don't know why I'm putting spaces there. Like a dummy. That's not how it's spelled. There you go. Uh, Zans, 7000. And da, 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 da. hey, Jacob YT. All right, there you go. I have a question. Were you on a team in TDM playing Eevee with Emoji and Victor emoting on everyone you killed? Because someone was named Andrew Chicken playing Eevee was being very toxic against the enemy team. Uh, I have played some Eevee recently, but no, I do not emote on everyone on the enemy team. I remember, uh, I don't remember which match it was, but in one of these Eevee matches at some point... I emoted on one person, because they emoted on me, I think. Uh, but that was basically it. It might have been a seven player. Uh, I don't know. Hey, was it this one? This was Moji and Victor, but I was not emoting on everybody. <laughs> I did carry, though. Oh, boy. That's the one? Hmm. Yeah, I think you and I have a very different perspective of this match. So, um, yeah. <laughs> if I was emoting on everybody, I wouldn't be able to go 19-2. and two. I would certainly have died more times than that, because they would have shot me, and I would have not been able to recover. So. Alright, let's go again. Let's queue for everything, and let's do some Cassie and Eternal is on gameplay. Heck yeah. Andrew being toxic moment, time to cancel on Twitter. Ah! Team Death Gosh match. darn it, I hate it when I get cancelled on X.com. That's the worst. God, it's terrible. Unbelievable. Change what you will. It makes huh. come to accept our truth. Yeah, I find it so funny that people think there's, like, a rampant crisis of fake Andrew Chickens, because I personally have not seen a fake Andrew Chicken, except for, like, maybe one random occasion, apart from what's recently happening, which is Feisty is trolling me by uh, changing his name to Andrew McChicken and using the same avatar as me. But, uh, <clears throat> I mean... The only reason that's not blatantly obvious is because my name at one point on the PTS was also Andrew McChicken because of Feisty. So some people genuinely have had like, I don't know, some sort of Mandela effect where they think that my actual name is Andrew McChicken and that Feisty is real, which is so sad. Hello, Mr. It's so silly, but it's also sad. Can you play a game of EO? Ah. Specifically Max Moonlight EO. Let's heal our team. Violently heal. EO? EO? Sure, I can play some EO. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> uh, gotta love how the TTS pronounces that, huh? Hmm. 
I saw someone like a week ago named Andrew Chicken with a lowercase c. Hmm. Trying right. to learn how to fox boy better. May his excellence oblige. Fox boy. Pip. All right, we can do some pip too. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Very awesome. All right, looks like we've got a bunch of stuff to do here at the start then. Um, I'm going to warm up with... You know what? Let's be spicy. Let's be daring today. Let's play some exaction. I know it's the high risk, high reward playstyle, and I have not warmed up yet, but uh, we'll just have to try it out by missing a bunch of shots across the way on an easy freaking hallway. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I am so not warmed up yet. <laughs> oh, God. I'm missing Lex. What am I doing? Okay. Well, let's throw some damage up there. Throw some damage into you. Roly poly. Ah, there we go. Hit that. <laughs> that was a pretty nice flick, if I do say so myself. Hello, Khan. Oh, I didn't want to shoot his shield, so I tried to shoot over the shield, but then he dropped the shield, and then I missed the battle shout. What an unfortunate series of events. Let me just heal up. Thank you, Grok. He's playing Maelstrom, but he's still giving me totems. I appreciate that so much. Woo! Lots of people coming around. Okay. Let me see about helping with some of these bogeys down here. Oh, boy. I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die. I messed that up horribly. Ah! I've been on Overwatch because of the frame drops. How's the state of the game? Uh, the game is fine in terms of performance. Although, if you're talking about frame drops... Just out of curiosity, do you main Shaolin or Imani or Atlas? Because Atlas to a lesser degree, but both of those other characters do get frame drops when they are uh, shooting their weapons because of some weird bug that's been in the game for literally ages. But if you play different characters, you might find more success. Thank you, Corvus. Boom, look at that huge damage across the way. Sadly, we don't finish that, but we can pelt Khan versus a wall. And try and roll around and do some stuff here. There goes Lex. Ooh, you're not quite off the map, but I got my reset, which is good. Ooh, wreck you. Alright. Ooh, I jumped right in front of that. How am I alive? I don't know. Ooh, I'm running away. Oh god, I'm running away. Ah! No, I actually almost had that. Oh, that's so unlucky that she spawned there. I'm going to do Deft Hands, actually, to keep the chain rolling a bit easier. Because I think I have enough Chronos now, so... I just want to go for max means here. Oh, I'm dead. Alright. I mean, Atlas personally, but maybe it's because of console, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You'd think consoles would be able to run it stably at 60 FPS. I don't know. Do you have an old console? I just find it interesting because, yeah, this game can definitely run very smoothly, so it sounds like there might be some sort of other problem going on, but I don't know. The dog I mean, it's not like Paladins is a super heavy game to run, you know? It's not. It's definitely not the most graphically intensive thing on the market. I can tell you that for a fact. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, hit her little head. Right, let me pop this. Let's go in. Do all the damage. I'm coming for you, Grover. I missed you, Grover. What am I doing? Uh-oh. He's clawing me down! Oh, hello. Alright, buddy. Cool story. <laughs> Anyways. Let's pop over here, do some more damage. Heck yeah, that Grover's low. Not gonna finish that, though. Let me knock you back for a roll reset. I mean, blatantly miss some shots here. Holy. Oh, I don't even hit the finish. That was awful. I'm sorry you had to witness that. <laughs> okay. Bleh. What am I doing? Three years, Andrew. Three hundred fifteen. Yo, it's officially the big three years. Let's go, Jamie. Oh, and we're kicking off a hype train too. My God, that is beautiful. Welcome, Jamie. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Truly a legendary member of this community. Unlike me, I can't even hit the likes. What am I doing? <laughs> ah. We're actually losing this game. I didn't even realize. I thought we were doing pretty good for a while there, but I just started throwing. I'm seven of their deaths. If I hadn't died seven times, we'd be even. All right, let me play a bit more carefully then. Need to actually focus. Use my brain meat. Use that muscle in the top of my skull to actually do something instead of dying all the time. The dog She's ulting here. Let me pop in, do some huge exaction damage. There goes the Koga. All right, nice. We're capitalizing off that beautifully. Roll up here. 
to do some damage. Back away. Oh, they are so grouped right now. I don't want to be that close to them, I don't think. Let me pull back up here. Koga, stop it. Oh, boy. Oh, this is awkward. Thank you, Grok. Okay, we can still push them. Boom, there's one. Ah, uh, not going to be a second one if I keep playing like this. Boom. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. What am I doing right now? No. I'm not warmed up on Cassie, man. Taking me a full match. I'm still not getting it. What am I doing? Oh, man. If he went off the map there, that'd be glorious. But he didn't, so we cry. Okay, I'm not chasing that, because we're going to die if we do. Let me pop this and see what I can do in the way of getting Lex dead. Yes, there we go. I didn't even help with that Koga. I don't know why I didn't get an assist for that, because I revealed him with my ult. I'm supposed to get assists. Weird. I'm about to be a quarter of this team's deaths right now. I should stop. I knew I shouldn't have played Exaction this match. I'm just playing way too aggro. Uh, oh, there's that Koga. No, he got our Corvus. Potentially winnable if we stop dying literally now. We just play super safely. Not a huge fan of my positioning right there. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, I don't think we got this. Yeah, it's GG. Alright. <clears throat> Unfortunate start to the stream here, but that's okay. Hmm. I took a risk, I took a gamble, and uh, it just didn't pay off. <laughs> Let's see how we did. Ah, uh, you know, I got top kills in the lobby. I also got top deaths in the lobby. I'm not sure if that was a good trade-off. Um, okay. Interesting. You know what? Let's just go again, and let's not worry about it. We do gotta play Atlas up, or Azan up next, so I'm going to not queue Team Deathmatch. I don't want to play a tank there, especially not Eternal is on. Ah, uh, yes, let me just nerf my DPS in a team deathmatch, see how that does. No, thank Siege. you. Okay, Timbermill, at least it's a good map for Azan, I think. And, uh, you know, I haven't used Dark Drake in a while, so let's use this skin. It's a goofy skin for a goofy talent. You watched the GVB solo Williams? Oh, yeah, of course I did. Yo, nice, thank you for the tier one. We're almost to a level two hype train. We could totally get that right now. That is awesome. But yeah, the GBB Elims were uh, pretty fun to watch. And the first battle was published today, too, which was pretty spicy. Although, I, I did watch the live stream back when the GBB was first streamed. Um, I, I gotta say, I think 2021's was better overall, in terms of the, like, level of the battling. I feel like there weren't as many iconic moments this time. Although, maybe my opinion will change after rewatching them in proper, like... Uh, video format with better audio mixing. The audio on the live stream is always terrible, so. Like, we had Dilip doing his thing, and, uh, we had Napalm trolling, and I think, I, d I don't remember anything else memorable about this GBB, and, at least in terms of the solo battle. Tag team battles were awesome, though. <clears throat> Andrew Chicken has 1,300 crystals, sharing, caring for your nice EV brother. I can't just give you crystals. <laughs> I can't just do that. That's not a thing in this game. Honestly, I've just been saving up crystals. I haven't bought anything in a while. I, I agree 100% 2021 was better so far. Yeah. Like, to me, there wasn't a standout battle on the level of Inertia versus Helium this time around. There were a few good battles, sure, that I would qualify more as, like, a Napalm versus Zekka tier. But, yeah. It's just, it, it wasn't my favorite. It was still good. But, yeah. All right, let me do... What build no do I want to do? I am the off tank here, and we have Ying Heals, so I think I'll just use this build here for maximum distance traveled by Conviction. And if anyone asks on the enemy team what the heck I'm doing, or if anyone in my stream asks, uh, I accidentally picked this talent, and I didn't mean to. That's the story we're going with. Besides the truth, which is this is a, uh, a champion request, and I do not get a say in what I play here. And so I'm being forced against my will to play the worst talent in the game. So, yes. Okay, let's go. Let's try this out. It really has been such a long time since I have used this skin. Ah, uh, feels weird. <laughs> it's a nice skin. 
I'm just so used to gold skin or shirtless. And Azan doesn't have any other skin apart from those and, the, well, this skin, obviously, so. Yeah. Alright, gotcha. Perfect. The great thing about Azan is even if he nerfs his damage, he's still a freaking boss to your tank. Like, he is awesome. Alright, I'm gonna have to just use stop, though. Just chill. Take a Chillium Pillium for a sec. I need a heal for my Ying. Where is she? Oh, I guess she died at some point? Okay. Oh. Thank you. Ah. And the fight recommences. Alright, let me pop up here. And... Oh, she's very gone. Okay, well, let's knock you up. And bully you with BK if we can. Stop it. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, nice. Talus is gonna finish that off. Let me throw a hammer into Nyx. That'll help finish her off. Vora, I'm ignoring you. I've got Knesset to fight. Bam. Oh, she's so low. Where did she go? Oh, she's dead. Thank you. Oop, come here. Ooh. Throwing me for a loop here. Oh, you're actually gonna kill me. I didn't realize how low I was. This isn't a self-sustained build pretty much at all. I just have these cards at one. It's really just maxing out the dash, so yeah. <laughs> I guess if I'm away from Ying for too long, I'll probably die. Okay. Let me pop around here. We gotta go bully that Knessa. You know what? I'm just going in. I'm committing to the bit. Oh, you teleported back up here, you fool. No, that's gonna get you killed. Oh, no sun for me. Crap! Ah, that's so awkward. That's so awkward. She outplayed me there. Okay. Fair enough. Fair play. She watched the Vora Guide, clearly. <laughs> oh, BK is not looking good there. Come on, BK. Oh, he's living this for now. No! Someone kill that Tyra. Good. Alright, so let me bully Nyx here. I think I'll trap her. That was really awkward to deploy for a second there, but we got ya. Hello. I can't bring that out fast enough to actually stop her TP, sadly. All right, I can finish that off. Let's deal with Vora now. I would like to have a word with you, ma'am. Miss Ruby Rose over here. Yeah, you ulted me. I don't take kindly to that. Die. All right, let me see. Nyx is up here for some reason. Go defend the payload. Our Nyx is on point. What are you doing over here? You're so silly. Get stunned. What are you going to do? Solo ult me? Are you are you just going to lose? Is that your grand strategy? I, I don't think you thought this through. No, Jaguar! That was mine! No! Okay. Well. Uh, okay. Let me head up here and see what Knessa's doing. Hi. Ah. Knessa, please. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Zahn is such a bully. That's the thing, he can have the worst design talent in the game and still carry, because Azan is just amazing. This character is 110% carried by his base kit. <laughs> and, uh, like, a few tiny cards. He's so good. Ah! He says and dies to Tyra. That was a brief respite. The damage. I'm just gonna fall back, I'm 53 HP. We don't actually have this. Okay. Alright. When making an Azan deck, do you build heavy into DR? I don't use the DR cards, personally. Because, what are they? They're just the DR cards in Sanctuary, right? I don't remember if there's one after Conviction. But uh, usually I just build for max health instead, because the card scale's really high. And that'll stack on my passive IR without any sort of diminishing returns. And I feel like it's just better bang for my buck than the DR, you know? Especially because if I need to, I can always just buy a bit of armor plating later. But I really feel like I generate more survivability and more ability to make plays from buying Kronos, and from also having Solemn Watch, which gives me more distance traveled by Conviction. Cooldown reduction if I need it. I also have another build which gives me more self-healing. I like, I prefer spreading out my uh, sources of survivability into multiple different tiers. Like we increase my max health, we have the base passive IRDR, and then we have increased healing on top of that. I prefer to do that, personally. Especially because his uh, healing cards, Grim Deliverance, and the other one, that gives extra healing when above IR threshold, those activate on every ability, they're so consistent. I don't actually use any of the other healing cards because they only apply on one ability, so I just don't see the point. You get so much more bang for your buck out of these two, right? 
you can't resist and yes, it does fall off late game. But it still makes us on one of the most self-sufficient tanks, right? There's still value in that at the end of the day, I feel. Hi! I'm just bullying you. My team is dying, but I don't care. I'm just bullying their backline. Alright, let's finish off Nyx here. She's the only one here. Uh, ooh, I didn't wall her in. I was worried about the Knesso. She'll still die. There we go. Good. I'm just gonna hug the wall briefly, and up we go. Oh, wow, she actually got that. Okay. I was gonna try and outplay by not slamming to the ground, but I guess I just died there anyways. Needed my healer, man. Let's get more Kronos. Let's get some Nimble. I want to go fast. Ads ruined Mr. Paladin's Zazan lecture? Well, we're only 20 minutes in. Okay. Oh, uh, let me uh, flop around over here. Do some damage to Vora. Yeah, I don't think they touch point. I'm just gonna... Ooh, that did not put the walls where I wanted. Oh, and they got overtime anyways. Okay. Well, at least Knessa's dead. I need to stop this Vora from doing things, though. Uh, well, bam, and dead. Easy peasy. Save the game. All right, let me make it up to the high ground here, and then we're gonna throw some hammers at Genos. Knock him up just to be annoying. Where do you think you're going, sir? <laughs> there we go. Hey, thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Very awesome. So many subs today. It's amazing. Oh, that's just straight up missed. Okay. Oh, um, I'm so greedy right now. Oh, me and Talos, we are the greediest, the greediest people on this team. Uh, and he has left me, so... Oh, crap! Genos, stop. Stop it. Stop playing. Stop playing well. Stop being good at the game. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm running. I'm running over here. Ying. Thank you, Ying. Oh, my God. You're a lifesaver. All right. Time to go up. Ooh, that was awkward. I slammed right into the corner. Ooh, you actually didn't go down to the low ground. Okay. Um, this is very awkward. Let's get walls down. Ying is dead. All right, let me run up here. She can't ult me yet. Here's my plan. I'm gonna i I'm gonna hide here. Actually, she she just straight up didn't chase that. I assumed she was going to chase me further into my backline, so instead hiding in their backline would be the play, but no. Doesn't really matter in the end. Let's get walls down here and just stall for a sec. I'm gonna try and go after that Tyra. Did she go up here? She did. All right, let me throw that down. She would be dead right now, by the way, if I wasn't playing Eternal. Like, it would have taken one fewer shot, right? Or one less shot, or however you say that. This talent is just garbage. I've gotten no value out of this the entire match. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm just... I'm actively sabotaging myself right now. Bam! Slap you in the face. It's a good thing Azan is basically one of my main off tanks at this point. I mean, Mako's my highest level tank, but I have played a lot more Azan since he came out, I have to say. He's just so much fun! Oh, yeah! <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's get some more nimble, and let's do as my next item. I'm thinking we'll do some rejuvenate for the Ying, since we are building up anti-healing here. Just to make it a bit easier for her to heal me. It's been so long since I've played Ying plus on controller, I'm having a rough time. Ah, uh, that explains it. I was kind of wondering, like... <laughs> It seemed like it took a second for you to, like, lock on to me. That totally makes sense now, yeah. Because you don't get aim assist on teammates. Makes Ying very difficult on controller. It's unfortunate, but that's just kind of how the game is coded, you know? I appreciate that for Grok, they actually, like, made up for that with Spirit's Domain by making the staff easier to hit. But that also works on keyboard and mouse, so it's just kind of a, a silly solution for it, too. It's all very awkward, you know? Oh, I actually stopped the TP there. Let's go. Uh, that hammer is not going to finish, so I'll just chase her like this. Doesn't matter if you get a Genos mark. I'm still better. <laughs> I'm a zombie. All right, so let me pop up here. My momentum is doing some really silly things right now. Let's try and bully Genos. Nope, stop running. Gotcha. There we go. Tyro's around here somewhere. Oh, she's up top. Oh, she's down there. Okay. Well, I can't save Nyx, but I can certainly demolish Tyra here. You get off my Talus. Oh, no. Okay. 
Ah, my abilities were bugging there. Ugh, me dash away. Oh, Ying just got toppled by the Knessa. I'm so one. She missed! She missed! She missed! Yes! Oh, I live. I live. Oh, if only I bought Meditation, the best item in the new item shop. Where is Meditation when you need it? Oh no, you're not chasing me. <laughs> I can't believe I'm alive. Yes. Okay, let me touch point. Uh, there we go, get some Divine Retribution on Vora there. And then let me dash away and let the illusions do their work here. No, oh, Ying! Okay, get back on the point. Ugh. No, it's just too much. It's just too much. I'm actually gonna buy meditation though. The freaking best item ever. I need it. I need meditation in my life. Just need to take a chill pill. <laughs> uh, yo, BK's going in from the top ropes. Gets the kill. Hey, gets the kill. And gets away with it. Let me put some walls here for you, just to protect you. You live this. Oh, hey. Yo, thank you for $3. Let's see some Soul Collector Ceres gameplay. Absolutely, 100%. I'm going to have to turn free requests off. We're getting a bunch of donations today. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Ah. Hello, Knessa. Bam. And bam. Gotcha. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Ying. <laughs> Pain. Alright, Vora, we're not done here. You and me. Oh, I wasn't able to hit that wicked flick. Let me slam Tyra down. There we go. Where did Vora go? Oh, nice shot, Ying. Ooh, yes, empower me. Alright, Knessa, it's time to die. Bam. Let's get this Genos here. Double kill. We are just popping off right now, man. I'm 40 and 4 with his on. <laughs> oh, this character is so good. Okay, let's see. Hello, Tyra. Do you want the sweet release of death? Let me stun you into the wall. There we go. Does he get away with it? No, I couldn't put the wall there for some reason. Okay. Maybe I would have gotten away with it if the wall actually worked. Guess it's really buggy on this map then, huh? Uh, let's do uh, Rejuve 2. I'll just focus on maxing out these items. Got to add Paladins in the category, I think. Never mind, it's there. Yeah, no, I, I did that last stream. I did not forget to switch it off of Warframe when the Warframe stream was over. Okay. Uh, BK sadly is very dead. I'm not gonna push in too much right now. I'm just gonna group up with the team here. Yeah, Talos, you should be careful here. Let me obstruct that Vora a little bit. She is hard chasing me, my friend. That doesn't look good. Oof, yeah. That's tough. What are you gonna do about that? Nope! <sighs> Waiting it out! Let me throw that down now. Dash up in the air. Gotta rely on outskilling her, but no, she lands on the wall. Oh, and she emotes that. Man, if your Knessa wasn't there to help you, I might have won that. She only did 800 damage, though. That was close. I don't know. It's kind of like a boss battle right there. <laughs> ah! Also, dang, Vora's ult lasts a long time. I was trying to time it so I did full damage with the hammer, but I actually failed because it lasted even longer than I thought. Well, it's okay. We'll kill her now. Oh, they failed the defense. Wait, hold on. How am I supposed to kill Vora like that? No. Okay. Hmm. Andrew Chicken is an eternal fan in secret? No, I'm not. This is the worst talent in the game. <laughs> he even made a video for it. Yeah, I made a video lambasting it as a terrible talent. I got a champion request to play Eternal. That's why we're playing this talent. It's awful, though. It's awful. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. Otherwise, yeah, I'd totally play tempering on this map. Because max dash on uh, Timbermill go burr. <laughs> it's very fun. Five, four, Ozon talent suck. Three, okay, but this two, one actively sabotages one. your gameplay. The other two... Okay, persistence is the most boring bland talent ever designed. But at least it doesn't actively hinder your performance. In the same way Eternal does. And tempering at least gives you something in return. That's actually pretty fun. But, uh, yeah, this, this piece of garbage, this piece of trash, yeah, no. Never, ever, 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 ever worth running. 
even though I'm carrying this game, it's not because of Eternal. It's because I'm actively fighting against Eternal, and I'm just such a good Azan that I can make it work. Because Azan is an incredible off tank. He's just that good in his base kit. <laughs> it is not because of this talent. This I would be doing better if I wasn't running this talent. We'd probably already have won if I wasn't using this talent. Especially because they're buying armor plating, so... You know, I'm hurting my own damage, but then they're hurting my own damage. It's like double dipping and damage reduction, right? Except I'm the one causing my damage to be reduced, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm playing this down. Hi, Genos. What well, bam I'll just put walls there. And then dash away. Okay. Ah, uh, they got overtime. How do they get overtime? Heal up. Ying's got me. Huge stun from Nyx. Going after that Vore if I can. Slam down. 700 damage. Well, bam. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, this is all bad. Okay, I'm just gonna have to fight Nyx here and hope BK can diff the Vora. He does, but he also dies, which means I have no support here. Get the walls down! Hug the wall! Hug. The. Wall. Run away. God, I need a heal. Oh, I killed Knessa. I got a heal! Yes, Ying, yes! Alright, I'm repositioning. Nyx can take the point. Let's throw some hammers down. She's chasing me. Throw that down. Oh, she's still on me. Alright, let me push her away. Oh, and we actually win. Let's go. Huge. GG's. That was a very fun game, despite the fact that I literally shot myself in the foot. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> Let's see, how did we do? Oh yeah, baby. 26 and 20... Or 26 and 6, 25 assists, 120,000 damage. Beautiful. Ah. And you know what? <laughs> if we played a different talent, we would have got worse stats. Because the game would have ended sooner. <laughs> ah. That was fun, though. And Vora did pretty good as well. 20 and 12. She got the best of me a few times. Love to see it. <clears throat> Alright, well, GG's. Um, let me turn the free requests off, and let's do some other things here. Also, Vora. <laughs> Clearly a three-man. Sweating that hard in casuals. I mean, uh, it's a little more than a three-man. I'm guessing she thinks the three people were Talus, Nyx, and Azan, because we all top-killed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just good at Azan. What do you want me to do? Not be good at Azan? I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't do that. Alright, let's go. Uh, and up next, actually, let me make sure I don't need to build for it. Uh, we gotta do, 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 do. It was Io up first with Max Moonlight, which I'm pretty sure my builds Io. all have Max Moonlight. Yeah, Moonwalk 5, so that should be good. Uh, we also gotta play uh, Pip. Yep, just a regular game of Pip. And then we also have Soul Collector's Ceres. Okay, plenty of stuff to do. Well, let's crack on with it. Every time Paladins freezes when I lose or win makes my heart drop because I think it's going to crash. Thanks, Imani Trauma. Have oh, boy. Yeah. It, it sometimes gets me, too. I'm like, oh, whoa. <laughs> what happened to my game? Or like, you know, no when you're still just actively fighting and then you win, but you're like, you didn't, you don't expect to win and you're like in the middle of an intense duel and then the game just freezes. You're like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, we won. Okay, phew. But it, like, takes a second. Oh, that's the worst. More ranked today? No, I'm not doing ranked today. I played ranked all this weekend. Had some interesting games. I think my net win rate over this weekend is negative. <laughs> below 50%, but that's okay. I don't need to win to get the daily Q bonus, thankfully. Oh, yeah, I accidentally... <laughs> I accidentally stream sniped Z. Together. And was on his team, and it was basically like we were doing without actually me streaming. It was very silly. We clobbered them. I played a Zon. It was great. Uh, but yeah, then we had some very silly games with, you know, some classic toxicity. I ran into a Koga who was cheating, um, and he carried his team, and that was annoying, and we lost. Um, and the last game... Uh, that I played last night, I ran into some very friendly uh, Latinos who helped me learn Spanish. I now know that the word for shield is escudo, if memory serves. I haven't looked at it at all today. So if I remember that based off pure memory, that's awesome. Escudo, right? I'm pretty sure. 
Um, so yeah, that was fun. Yeah, Scudo, hey! Let's go. <clears throat> I'm on it with my Spanish learning. <laughs> let's go. <clears throat> so yeah, that was nice. That was a fun experience. Um, we're just going to do some Goddess Blessing here. We're going a Moonlight-based build, so we might as well play the Moonlight-based talent. And yeah, it's just maximum Moonlight capacity through and through. Uh, and we will also grab some... I'm thinking we just do... Ooh, that's Accelerant. It's basically the only CC, though. Is it worth it to buy Unbound? I think I'll do Armor Plating first. Let's we'll see how it goes. Mama Huevo means friend. Mother Egg? Is that how that translates? That's... okay. Interesting bit of slang. Alright. Let's focus on winning here. Throw a few shots into Geno. Sadly... Oh, hey! There we go. Genos actually helps Khan peek me, so I can heal him. Isn't that wonderful? Alright, Khan, if you can hold that shield up so I can give you increased healing, that'd be great. Ah, there you go. Getting so much healing right now. Let me move Luna to the point. Got Andra behind me. Oh, stab, that's good. Let me heal you. I'm just kind of ignoring Androxus right now. He's not doing anything to me. Uh, let me move this. Ooh, yeah. That accelerant might be a problem. Thankfully, he's dead. Talos is doing a good job. Can't really heal him right now, though. There you go. Got you. Uh, there you go, Moji. Live. Well, bam. All right. Uh, I just won't worry about shooting Barrack. Shield's in the way. Okay, now it's gone. There we go. Can't kill him. Let me heal you up. We are just chilling right now. Oh, I can't even see if I'm healing Dark or not. Everyone's grouped up. All right, Luna, go over there. You're almost dead. Let me heal you real quick, actually. And there we go. It looks like we cap. Nice. Whoa! I just walked right into it. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. Here we go. All right, let me move Luna onto the point. Get on the cart. Yes, let's go. And let's just cruise this through. <laughs> this Androx, this isn't really doing much to me. Glad to see it. As much as I would enjoy bringing out the uh, Luna 1v1 shenanigans. I'm glad I don't really have to do that much right now. Let's do that. Ooh, the AoE is still hitting me, but it's not enough. Alright, we're good, we're good. Nice. Okay. Uh, don't get stunned by that. Yep, good block. I want to shoot that shield. Let me heal you. I have so much moonlight right now. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm never running out. Okay, there's an ult. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Since they all got stunned, let's try and stall or something. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I don't get moonlight for shooting the shield. I have that card in my build at level 3. It's not giving me anything. Very annoying. Oh, man. I have to move Luna back. Ooh. Go for that stun quickly. Yes. Oh, we diff him. Huge. I'm dead, though. Okay. Whew. Uh, let's do... Just a little bit of Unbound. Let's max it out. Why the heck not? Just in case. Just in case. Luna got healing out of combat added recently? I don't think out of combat is a recent addition. But, yeah, she can do that. The thing that she has that's also really nice is, you know, old life link in base kit, so she just constantly heals herself for 300. I think that was a really great change. Like, even though supports are becoming, like, really power crapped and just insane levels of strong, I still think that was just such a good idea to really help level out her talents. Feels so good, you know? Alright, I'm gonna have to ask you to live. Let me move Luna over here. More of that group healing. There we go. Yep, stay behind the shield. Oh boy, you got stunned by that? Okay, heal you. We gotta touch that point. I don't have a speed boost, though. Not running that in this build. It's just max moonlight. Okay, Fernando's got it. He's bringing out the ult. He wants this. Oh man, I wish I had an ult right now for the DR. Is he still flying over? Oh, he got me. Okay, we don't have a healer now. We don't have this. Uh, that's unfortunate. They brought out a lot of ults to get that, though, so... Yeah, I think that was probably a good trade for us. With the out-of-combat healing, Luna was copying Paladins before Overwatch decided it was cool. 
<laughs> I don't think that really makes sense, because she's just in Paladins, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh... It's a very silly dynamic, too, because, you know, Overwatch has had healing out of combat for years. It's just been on one character, Mercy, and that was her passive. And it felt a lot more deliberate there, you know? But putting it on everybody just feels... Point spawning in 15 <sighs> seconds. It feels weird. It feels... It, it doesn't feel right. Especially because one of the key differences between Overwatch and Paladins Five, was in Paladins four, you can heal up out of combat. Three, you have an item to make that stronger, two, and you know, that's its own system. One. But then in Overwatch, you have health packs, and Paladins doesn't have those. So it was a completely different way to heal yourself. You could still heal yourself, you just had to find the packs, had to have good map awareness. But now you have health packs and healing out of combat? It's It strikes me as strange. Like, I don't see why that was necessary. I get that they want to make the Bro game easier and more casual for me, but that's just $1 still seems excessive. For my next request. Hey, thank I'm you. I'm sorry if this is sacrilegious, but play a game of Absolute Max Knockback Bomb King. I'm oh boy. willing to wait for. Good map as well. Let's get as many off-map kills as possible. Okay. Good luck. It's not sacrilegious. It's just silly. <laughs> it's just not a serious build, but that's okay. Oh boy, I need to be doing it. Bam! Get out of here. I'm running away. Oh my god, I'm so low. I'm so low. Luna, protect me. Get stunned, get stunned, get stunned, get stunned. El Bozo, get wrecked, IO Diff. Yes. <laughs> IO Gaming. All right, here you go, Moji. Here you go, Khan. Just healing you guys up. Let me move back over here to the main hall. I really hope that doesn't go after me. Oh, he just got Talus. Poor guy. I'm gonna move behind the wall. Oh, I can't heal. Okay. Uh, here's this. Moving Luna over here. No. Oh, we lose. How are health packs bad? I don't think they're bad. I I like that it's different. Honestly. Like, considering they're two at their core. Minus all the extra flowery stuff the Paladins has with, like, the talents and stuff. At their core, they're very similar games. So it helps to have all these little mechanics that distinguish them. And adding a mechanic like that, that makes it more similar, I don't know. Like, it's, it's just such a weird thing, I think, at the end of the day. It's not necessarily bad, it's not necessarily good, it's just, eh. <clears throat> I just wish Overwatch 1 was still a thing. <laughs> I resent that they replaced Overwatch 1 with Overwatch 2. I so wish that we had, you know, the ability to play both games. Like, frankly, it should be if you're making a sequel. You know? Hello, Khan. Here you go. Take this. Oh, boy. OG's dead. We're kind of just getting beat back right now. Draining a lot of healing resources. Let me move Luna back here so I can heal more. There you go. Alright, nice. Genos is dead. Uh, I don't know if I can heal Talus. I'll try. He'll be through the wall a little bit. Oh, he's going back through here. Oh, man. But you know what? I think he lives this. Good. Heal you up. Oh, Moji died. She got the kill, at least. Yeah, exactly. Tabitha. I, I don't get that either. Having both. It's like Can it seems you play excessive. Bora, please? Yeah, thank you for the 100 bits, absolutely. Goodness, we're just doing donation requests today, apparently. <laughs> Chad is feeling extra generous. I, I appreciate that so much. Oh boy. Fellas, we need to fall back. Oh, Luna died! No, that's bad. Get out of here. Oh, I'm dead to the Andro ult. Oh, I got double ulted. No. Okay. Uh, crap. What do I buy? Nimble, I guess, to reposition better. Oh, we're gonna lose this, though. We are struggling right now. Man. I guess the saying, why bother healing? The best support on our team is out of combat. Healing applies to both games. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. It's also just weird, though, because you have roll queue, so you have two mandated, mandated supports on all teams. That's, why, that's another reason why I feel like it's excessive, you know? Because in Paladins, there is no roll queue. You could have potentially just one healer, 
no healer, or, you know, just a bad healer, or Catch both your healers go damaged, so you have, seconds. like, very little healing output on the team, and so it helps to have out-of-combat healing. It's more flexible, and that's good. I just, I don't know. Five, four, <laughs> like, that to me is three, the weirdest change. Two, if they want to increase their time to kill, make it so you can't one-shot with Widow, Hanzo, all that anymore, that's fine, you know? And yeah, it is becoming more similar to Paladins, but I understand this. I think that's rational. I, I think if that's the direction they want to take their game, okay. The hitboxes are a bit goofy, I will admit. Honestly, I'd prefer if they hampered on the strafing instead of uh, just making the hitboxes easier, but you know, you do you. But that to me is just like, I don't know. Wow, did he buy Bulldozer? He bought Bulldozer. He is really trying to target me. Okay, I'll just have to diff you without Luna then. Yeah. I don't need Luna to kick your <coughs> butt. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go. Uh, speaking of Luna, though, I do need Luna to heal me and let me heal my teams. So let's do that real quick. Oh, poor Fernando. I'm just going to try and heal Khan. Give him everything. Give him everything! No! Oh, man. This is bad. This is bad. Touch the point. No. They merely prolong the inevitable. Mmm. Eesh. No Overwatch esports anymore, right? Oh, I don't know what's going on with their esports. I don't believe Wreck or Bo Wrecking Ball or Tracer are OP even in right hands. They are skill expressive heroes, IMO, compared to many others. Very skill expressive, yeah. Man, how is Tracer doing with this new update? Because, like, she does so little damage at range, so I assume the TTK increase is bad in that aspect. But also, like, people aren't going to be able to one-shot her anymore. She's super slippery. But then also increased hitboxes. But then also there's less CC, right? You don't have Kree Flash that you can bring out, like Overwatch 1. How is Tracer doing? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Overwatch are doing grassroots esports system? Oh, okay, so they're just switching it around. At least they still have esports. Honestly, it'd kind of be bad for the game if they killed off their esports scene, because, you know... It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very fun thing. It was overbloated, yeah, I, I understand the problems with it, but, I mean, it's like when Paladin's esports scene died. It was a real sad thing, you know? Okay, well, uh, we gotta invite some more people to the party. Two people just left. If you want to join, say your name in the chat. It's like Eevee, nobody thinks she's OP, but they get her 100 HP and the game is over. <laughs> Nobody thinks she's OP. Uh, listen, some people do. <laughs> I am very well aware of people thinking she's OP. Oh, God. Even though she's not. Honestly, this patch, I think Eevee got worse. In the grand scheme of things. Even though she's got, you know, the whole armor plating versus arcane warding split with the ults now doing more damage on Snow Globe, I still think it's a net nerf because armor plating is just so strong and she's still majority weapon based damage. And that just hurts every talent, you know? And, yeah, she can buy some of that survivability, too, but she's a, like, she's a low fire rate, low DPS character, right? 850 DPS is, like, very middle, like, average. It's 50 more DPS than Torvald. And hammering that down by 24% means that she needs, like, one, potentially two extra more shots to finish someone off, you know, especially if you buy armor plating and veteran. And that's a huge deal for the time to kill. That's, like, two extra seconds. Ugh. It's rough. She's still good. She's still great if you can play her well. But, uh, yeah, I <laughs> I think this patch nerfed her, kind of, indirectly. Tracer in the right hands is borderline OP, but she's not unfair, I'd say. If I lose to a good Tracer playing cover and timing correctly, I can't feel that pissed. Yeah. That's what I really like about skill expressive characters. Like, when I lose to a good Eevee, or a good Maeve, or a good Vora, or something like that, I'm like, yeah, well done. You, you timed your abilities well, you outpositioned me, you outstrafed me, good job. Yeah, fair enough. You hit the projectiles better? Nice. <laughs> when I get out performed by a Talus, it's like, oh. Good job. You plugged in the controller, and you shot me with overcharged, and then you teleported away. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> hmm. Plus, Eevee's biggest counter is hard meta, Leon. 
I find that so interesting. I ha I haven't felt that Leon is OP this patch, but I see her banned in basically every ranked game I played this weekend. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> like, is she gonna get nerfed? I don't know. I I don't feel like I really am struggling with her, but I don't know. Leon is OP with aim assist. Oh, is that is that the thing? Yeah, man, aim assist is the bane of this whole game, isn't it? Really just throws a whole wrench into the balancing. Primary fire with the auto aim is way too busted. Oh, boy. <sighs> Leon was a good buff. It's not really OP, but just nobody cared about Leon before. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think it's a very sensible buff. It buffs her primary fire, so you're rewarded for hitting more skillful shots. Yeah, it buffs the burst somewhat, but it's not, like... I don't feel like it's the worst thing, especially when you also consider that you can just rush armor plating. I, I feel like people who think Leon is OP this patch maybe just aren't buying enough armor plating. That's the hard counter to Leon. Like, the hard, hard counter to Leon. You know? It counters everything that she has, except her ultimate. And the health buff, I mean, yeah, it makes her harder to kill, but she's still pretty squishy. I mean, at most she gets, what, 2400 health? I mean, that's pretty standard for most characters. You had to play out of your mind to keep up with other meta champs. Uh, now she can keep up, so average players consider it OP. Mm. One of those things that's good in Louis, though. Oh, boy. I see. <laughs> <sighs> that's annoying. I feel like she's going to get nerfed because of that. I, I, I find it weird that I want to defend Leon here because I hate Leon. Or at least I'm supposed to be that guy who hates Leon. I'm the ex-president of her hate club, but I, I really don't feel that way about these buffs. I, I like them. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. We would live in a better world if there were more Eevee, Ruckus, Atlas players. Oh, heck yeah. More Maeve players. More, uh... More BK players, more Drogos players, more Azan players, heck yeah. My I feel like we need to review the Leon Mount bug before considering experiment. nerfing her. <laughs> nah, we don't need to fix the Leon Mount bug. Please, no. Please, God, no. No! <clears throat> okay. We're playing the Foxman here for a dono request. Um, and yeah, we're just going to do some classic combat medic stuff here. Um... Because, yeah, I'm the solo healer on the team, and Combat Medic is the best healing talent for us to go. This is the build. I believe the person who sent the dono wanted, uh, help the with Pip? Is about to begin. Yeah, trying to learn how to Foxy Boy better, yes. So, yeah, this is what I usually use for Combat Medic. Medicinal excellent, Excellence and Reload are mandatory cards. Mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. Uh, I have Gift Giver as level 1 filler, Smithereens as level 1 filler. They just are really helpful in Combat Medic. And then I have Pep in the set for some additional support. Although, if you wanted to, you could run more cooldown-based builds or something like this with Acrobat's Trick instead. One. And then I usually start Death Dance with Pip. Reason being, he has a really long reload. And so, uh, Death Dance actually helps us heal more. It's, uh, very silly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it works very, very well. So, usually just buy, like, Death Dance 2 and then switch over to some Chronos. And yeah, the key thing with Pip is... He uh, requires very good understanding of how to use his projectiles. Remember that you can detonate the potion midair. It's so, like I can detonate it right there, and you want to try and line up the potion so that you can hit multiple people at the same time. You want to hit as many people on your team at once. Ah, okay. Hello. That was a good hook. Yeesh. So yeah, like I can throw it right there, and I can hit all three of those people. You want to try and line up. It's a projectile. You want to be able to detonate it midair properly to hit the most people, and. Yeah, remember that it's a massive area of effect. Get used to that area of effect as well. You can also use the potion to heal people through walls. So the next time I get a potion, you'll see that I can actually, like, throw it right there, and that would be able to heal Cassie, although she's just not taking damage. And Nyx took way too much damage there, so much that I can't even out heal it. It's crazy. But yeah, I can throw that potion over there. You can see Cassie gets healed through the wall. So even though the potion might seem like a simple ability, and it kind of is, there's a lot of complexity in terms of how you use it, and how you master it, because of all these different use cases for it. So that's, like, the most important thing to master with Pip. Besides also just getting good at hitting his uh, weapon shots. Which, to me, 
I'm gonna throw that out. But yeah, to me, like, there's not really too many tips I can get for that. Apart from just raw practice, right? Because, yeah, it just takes getting used to. High ground is also a very important thing to have a pip. You'll notice it's a lot harder to hit your shots on people who are on the high ground because of the arc and just the fact that they're projectile, right? Very tricky. Oh, Nyx is too far up. I don't think I can save her here. Oh, come on. Ah! Okay. Unfortunate. Oh, yep. He's going for it. Run away, guys. Run away. There's a potion for you. Try and stay alive here. Uh-oh. Oh, I had to reload. See, that's why that's why death hands is so important. <laughs> if I had more death hands, I might have been able to get the shot off. Ah. Tanks need to buy Rejuve with Pip. It really helps since you're healing every second. Yeah, and Pip is also a super high output healer. If you're hitting shots consistently with Pip, he is one of the best healers in the game for just raw healing per second. So, yeah, if you're playing a tank with Pip, it's just a no-brainer to buy Rejuve. Assuming he's good. If he's bad, then maybe by meditation. But, you know, if he's good, heck yeah. Go for that Rejuve. It's amazing. Which I like to think I'm a pretty good Pip. I've played this guy for a while. He's above level 100, you know? Another thing is ult usage. Uh, you can use it... Oh, crap. <laughs> I couldn't get away from that in time. You can use it for a few different things. Uh, the most obvious one that basically everyone goes for is just ulting the tank. Because it will severely reduce the amount of health they have. And that's good. But you want to make sure your teammates are there to capitalize on it, especially when they have Unbound. You can still get kills with Pip ult when they have Unbound. You just gotta have a lot better team coordination, right? Oh, I'm gonna die. Holy crap, they're sniping me. Crazy amount of damage there. And I also got hit by the Harpoon and it slowed me. Made my waitlist a little bit weird because he's using Scuttle. Seconds remaining. But sometimes it can also be good to use free. the ultimate on, like, a flanker who's coming around to hit you. So, like, when that 7 dives me next round, it might be prudent for me to just slap the ult on him, turn him into a chicken, and that incapacitates him. Yeah, it doesn't do that much damage to him, right? It only takes him from 1900 health down to, four, uh, to 1500. But the point is, it incapacitates him. He can't use his abilities. He can't shoot me for, like, five whole seconds. So I can easily kill him by myself with the ultimate. And that is absolutely worthwhile. Because it can be the difference between life and death. He just, he cell spanned me into the gourd. I took 19 damage and died. This Makoa is being very devious right now. He's doing a good job. He's doing a better job of flanking than 7. It's crazy. But that concept of incapacitating and just using it for the incapacitation can also work to save teammates. You already saw me do it there a little bit on the point fight with Nyx. Uh, I tried to save her from the enemies, stopping them from shooting her by just throwing the ult out and turning them into chickens. He's ulting me? What is this devious turtle, dude? Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill Leon too. Oh, never mind. Okay. I'm getting farmed by Makoa right now, and there's nothing I can do about it. That's crazy. I'm trying not to use my ult on him. That's why I'm dying a little bit more than usual, because I'm trying to save it for the cap, because I don't think we can push this. Although maybe if I did use it for the push, maybe I would have lived, and then maybe we would have pushed it. I don't know. This Makoa is, like, only targeting me for some reason. <laughs> uh, it's annoying. I might have to get some armor plate in for him. Uh, or the, oh, yeah, he is pluck. He's doing a lot of damage from that, too. Alright, I'll buy a little bit of armor plating. Just spread out the items. I need that DR, man. He is so mean. The next time I see him try and flank me, I'm ulting him. He doesn't have Unbound, so we can easily get away with this. Yeah, he just spent some credits on a Horde. Buying a Horde mid-match? After you've already bought Kronos 2? That's a strange four, decision. Three, two, okay, well, you do you. Uh, let's just see what we can do here. <clears throat> so yeah, let me pop up. And... Yeah. Try and do some damage here. I can throw that Slow Potion at Makoa to stop him. There we go. And yeah, also, I have the card that gives me ammo after hitting the slow potion. So, it's, yeah. Very helpful to just throw that out when I have, like, half of my ammo remaining, just to refill it up the top. Stops you from reloading, from reloading as much. Which, even though you have deft hands, it's still a good idea to not reload if you can help it. <laughs> you know, just to have as much ammo regen as possible. I used to run that card at higher, but I decided it was better to have Pep in the sap instead. Give my teammates that speed boost, right? Alright, let's just get him off the point. He got healed by Odo. 
But at least he can't hook me, so now I can reposition safely with Weightless. Get back over here. And... Kill Makoa, apparently. I was trying to heal Nyx, but I killed him. Okay, that works. <laughs> nice. There are also some tips with Weightless. There are some people who are godlike with Weightless, and also, sometimes they'll, like, shoot themselves for the extra knockback. And that knockback will... You know, it'll let them do some really fancy rollouts. I believe there's a YouTuber, I think his name is Zversy? Or am I thinking of a different Z name? It's some guy with a Z. He does insane pip rollouts. I can't even do that, and it's not necessary to learn that, but with Weightless, it is still good to know. Like, kind of get a feel for where you can and can't Weightless to. And remember that wall jumps will stack with your Weightless jump boost. So... Oh crap, I couldn't get there. I'm sorry. I'm more focused on the commentary right now. But yeah, wall jumps will stack with your weightless boost, allowing you to get some pretty crazy traversal. You can easily use that to get to a lot of high grounds in the game, which is really nice. Or you can just kind of do something like that. Just kind of chain wall jumps like that, and then you can do, you know, roll it like that and just go from that high ground to that high ground, for example. So keeping track of walls and where you can do that is good as well. Ah. Whoa! Oh, luckily that was uncauterized. My goodness. I'm going to try and get up here and heal as much as I can, although we have to be careful because there are a lot of bogeys out right now. Oh, boy. All right, let me do that on you. And there we go. Safely on like that. That's what I'm talking about. Use the ult, incapacitate, boom, easy. Pip's ult is actually one of the most powerful ults in the game if you can use it well. It's disgusting. <laughs> and I'm forcing him to buy Unbound for me. Perfect. We're going to push this through, I hope. Um, ooh, got that kill. Probably dead, though. Ooh. So glad he's not Leviathan. I'm going to play it safe right now for a sec. Get my potion back. All right, let me throw it here. Get Relip Proc with Leon, and boom, we got it. Perfect. Is Mega Potion even viable on Pip, or is it just kind of a dead talent? It can be viable, but it requires an immense amount of skill to use properly. Because the thing with Mega Potion is you have to be extremely deliberate and masterful with your potions. You cannot waste a single potion with that talent. And you have to make sure that you're timing them when the teammates are out of cauterize if you can. Which is another thing I haven't mentioned yet that you have to keep in uh, mind when you're in late game. If you can, you want to try and heal your teammates and time the burst for when they leave cauterize. Which, that takes a lot of skill to do, but... It's just something to practice as well. But, uh, yeah, it's... You also have to maximize your damage output with Pip on Mega Potion. You have to be constantly hitting people. Getting procs of your Acrobat's Trick, which is the card that reduces the cooldown of Mega Potion on hitting people with your weapon. Just maximize all of that, right? Very high skill. Can be rewarding, but... I would recommend sticking with Combat Medic until you really are... experienced with using the potion well, right? Because it really is paramount to the success the of that deck. Right? But yeah, it's very satisfying too. And the nice thing about it is, you know, yeah, you can heal, but you can also do way more damage than you normally do with Combat Medic. Because A, you have the stupid keyword, but B, you're also shooting the enemies more. You can also use it comfortably as a hybrid playstyle if you're, like, in a double support comp. And you don't necessarily trust your second healer. Like, let's say you're playing Pip with focusing Lin Ying on your team. Well, she's barely going to do healing, but she is going to do a lot of damage. But you don't necessarily want to heal bot there either, so you could play Mega Potion and, you know, pro provide powerful burst heals alongside Ying's trickle heals. And you can also do a bunch of damage there, and that can be a good strategy. All right. Well, GG's there. We got 129,000 healing. Not bad. The enemy team combined out-healed me, but, I mean, they had two full supports, so that's no surprise. And they had a turtle who got top kills on his team. <laughs> he was the only one doing good on his team, and by golly, I respect it. I always respect a good turtle. <laughs> Even if half of his kills were me. Ah. But yeah, hopefully that was uh, informative. I hope you found that useful. Hmm. Lots of tips with Pip. I'll probably make a full guide on him at some point. He's not going to be the next guide, but yeah, I could totally make a good Pip guide. Alright, uh, let's go again. After Pip was Soul Collector Ceres. Right, so let's do that next. I see we win when I don't go Scorch Nanto. <laughs> oh boy. 
Scorch Nando is funny. It can work, but uh, yeah, it's very risky. I'll have to watch it back on the VOD again so I can really dissect it. That's absolutely fair enough. It was a lot of tips, I know. <clears throat> Alright, uh, Timbermill, uh, not a great damage Ceres map, but I guess we'll do it anyways. Uh, here we go. Ceres. And yeah, I am damaged, so let me alert the team. Zans, you got the Prime Gaming BK. I don't have that yet. I, 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 oh my god, I'm so mad. This stupid Prime linking just never works. I, I redeemed it on my Amazon Prime, like, it's getting close to a week ago at this point, and I still don't have it. I don't know why. I unlinked and relinked my account, which is normally what you do to fix it if it's broken, and that was a few days ago. I still haven't done it. I submitted a support ticket, haven't heard back. I have no idea what's going on, but I bought Amazon Prime again specifically so I could get the skin, because I want it, because it's a BK skin, and I don't get it. Why? <laughs> Why is Amazon Prime like this? It's not Amazon Prime either, because it works for every other game. It's Paladins. Why is Paladins like this? Ah. Also, uh, we have two other spaces in the party, so I guess if someone wants to join... <laughs> we did half of the party reset last match, and we'll do half of the party reset this match, and now we have a full party. Yay. There we go. Invite someone else, because I can't play on 400 ping. Oh, no, not the ping. Ah. The blue is kind of ugly. You think so? Bomb King. Yeah, look at that. It's Extreme it's locked. King. I think the colors are fine together. It's very bright. Maybe a little gaudy, but I, I mean, that's kind of the theme. I'm okay with it. I want to use the bombs. I think the bombs look pretty clean. But I can't use it! It's locked! I redeemed it! Why? For a while, I claimed like three to four primes for Paladins, and it took months to actually get them. Oh, yeah. Same here. <laughs> I redeemed Full Moon Victor on Prime, like, many months ago, back when that was a thing. I never got it, and then I just bought it for crystals in-game, because I got some crystals for participating on the new player guide on the website. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah, it's the Amazon Prime skin, but you only get it if you're lucky, because the Amazon Prime linking in this game is buggy as crap, and that's why they're canceling it, probably. I guess since we're talking about Prime as well, it's a reminder to everyone in the chat, if you uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you have a free subscription to this channel that you are potentially missing out on. With every Amazon Prime membership comes a free subscription to any Twitch channel you want, at no extra cost to you. And if you give it to me, you get a watch ad free, you get free emotes, and all sorts of wonderful stuff that you can also use on Discord, because it links with your Discord. And you give me money. And it's all free. You just take that money out of Jeff Bezos' pocket, and we both just get so many huge benefits from it. It's amazing. So I recommend doing that if you have a Prime sub lying, uh, lying around. Okay, uh, what should I do? What should I do? Right, damage Theris. Forgot what I was doing. You're uh, the Puma's pajamas. Yes, I am damage Theris. Yay, there we go. Yeah, thank you, Salt Flavored, for the Prime sub. I appreciate that. See, look at that. No extra cost to you. Now you don't have to watch ads ever again. And I get free money. It's so amazing. It's a really good system. <laughs> How do I link? I need this. Uh, so you have to go to highres.com. Or actually, I believe it's uh, it's highresstudios.com, right? You have to go here. And then you click on your account. And I'm not going to click that button because I don't know if it'll accidentally like dox my account or whatever. I don't know if it's going to like automatically log me in and show you my ID and stuff. But you just click there, you log in, and then you go to the linking tab. And on the linking tab, uh, you can click to link with your Amazon account. But yeah. <laughs> Be warned, you probably won't get lucky like Zans did and just get the skin. You'll probably have to wait a very long this time for it to actually sink into your inventory because this game is buggy. I should just ask Cryptic about it. <laughs> I haven't received a response to my support ticket yet. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just see what's up with Cryptic. Maybe they have an answer for me. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah. How unprofessional. Alright, let's do Soul Collector, and yeah, let's just do my normal build here. Umbral Gate, Sorceress Veil, vale, just a classic build. And we'll also... <laughs> that is so bright in this room. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Alright, let's do... Um, what should I do here at the start? 
They do have Tyrus, so I probably shouldn't go for veterans, so I'll go for armor plating nimble. There we go. I want that skin so bad. Yeah, me too! It's a new BK skin! It's a recolor of my boy, the Stream King. I'm a streamer! I, I need this! Especially because every time I play the skin, I can advertise Amazon or uh, Prime subs and get Prime subs. It's genius, really. It's like the perfect skin for me. <laughs> I need it. Okay, there's a little bit of healing. Can still do some healing here and there. As I build up my stacks, it gives me ammo back too because I have that filler card. There we go. We're up to 11. We just spam some stuff out. Ooh, that's a lot of people. All right, veil away. Come here. There's a heal. All right, let me see about diffing Ty right here. There's a stun. Oh, she's got a lot of healing. Crap. Eh. All right, they are totally diffing us here early game. We are really struggling on the damage front. Do some healing in there. Just gonna throw that up. Absolutely chonky stun there. There we go, gotcha. Let me shadow travel real quick, just to be careful. Heal you. Well, bam. He kind of fell. Come back here. Stun. I'm not the only one with a grumpy bomb. There we go. All right, we're making some plays happen now. There you go, Connor. Uh, let me pop up here. Continue to fight Zin. Ooh, I didn't get that stun. All right, I'm out. Let me heal you, just so you don't die. Oh, Fernando's got me huge. Oh, the double. No. Let me just do that. Random stun. Why the heck not? We need to group up. Alright, there's four on him. If I can get the stun in a sec. Oh, no, he did that. Okay. Put that down. Bam, there's the kill. Uh, throw a quick heal out, and then let's shadow travel here. Nice, everyone lives this. There's a quick heal back to you. I'm going after this Tyrant now. Got to do some damage. Got to miss my shots. All right, let's just go for that stun real quick. Oh, he's chasing me. Ooh, he actually killed me with that. I got hit by the nade from Tyra, I think, there. That's why. Extra little burst. Right, more nimble, more armor plating. Live! Come on, Koga. You got this. Survive! No! Okay, well, that's a real shame. We are not pushing out that side. There's a whole siphon blocking that off. Let me heal you. Ooh! That's a lot of damage. Alright, give me some stacks. Barely building up stacks right now, sadly. Let me do that. I'm gonna heal beam you in. Just for some extra healing. Let's get some stacks on you. That should stun you any second now. Well, bam! And that kills. Perfect. And I see an opportunity for a fabulous ult here. Wow. That only pulled one person in. Okay. Never mind. Let's group up here then. We have a lot of points to recover. This is gonna be pretty tough. Maybe we can do it though. Stun. That Rezo. Okay, he dies, but so do I. Ah, man. Okay. Uh, I should buy Unbound. They have a bunch of stuns. BK stun, uh, Damba stun, Damba fear. I think that's a good idea. Still behind by over 120 points, though. Yeesh. Ah, uh, give me some stacks. Group up, please. That's four. Get the heal out there. Oop, there's a stun. Finish her. Yes. Huge. Okay. Can I go after this BK? Ah, uh, he's gone. He's gone. Nope. I'm not doing that. Not with eight stacks. Okay. Yeah, I think he intended to do that. Stun. Oh, what? That killed me? Even with the healing. Uh, more unbound then. We'll max that out. I don't even know what my final item should be, honestly. Maybe I will go for veteran. Just because. I don't know. Hello. I'm 
feeding that. I don't care. Get stunned. Oh, that was a mistake. Bruh. They all have Rezil for me. What is this? I'm the only one with CC besides BK. They're all buying Rezil for me. That is crazy. Oh, boy. Alright, finished you at least. I don't have stacks right now, though. That's the bad thing. Yeah, he's going after me. I can't really hit him right now. Come on. Let me try this. Oh, that was bad. Got blocked by the siphon. I'll just get those two stacks because I can. Finish her. Finish her, Connor. Finish her. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> okay. Live that. No, you can't cleanse this stuff all the time. That's so annoying. Quick stun. Running back over here. Fernando's got me. Okay. They're just sad by 200 points, though. I really don't think we have this match right now. Just too hard of a damage game, I guess. Get some stuff over there. Ooh, that's too much damage. Wow, thank you for the speed boost, Ray. Okay. Come on, Damba. No! Alright, I'm just throwing this out. Damba doesn't have Unbound. Let's stun him. There we go, that's a kill. Run away. Run away, run away, run away. Ah! Fine for the most part. Oh my. Oh, come on, Fernando. There you go. There's so many people. Everyone needs healing. No! I can't get the stun on anybody, dude. This is so frustrating. Ooh, Ella. Stun. Ooh, can't save BK. Okay, at least I can kill you. Ah. This is just not looking good. Should have got vets with sacks with your soul collector. I'm just worried about it because of, uh, you know, uh, Tyra's fire. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, any little heal I can. Oh, man. I guess I'll do it now just because it can stack with armor plating. But yeah, armor plating, it also stacks with the health I get from the Soul Collector. It's just, you know, it provides armor for all of that extra health. So it's still a very good HP increase, right? Okay, I got feared out of that. I'm running away. Live. There's that. I'm getting out of here if I can. Heal me with that. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, man. He's half in the back. I don't know if we can do anything about it, though. He's just on a rampage. Our team can't stop him. Yeah, it's over. It's so over. I'm not going to be the final death. Yeah. Alright. Man. That's unfortunate. I was trying my hardest there, but... Yeah, it is just damage to arrows. And they clearly had the better damage players than we did. I got 10 kills, 7 deaths, 54,000 damage, 51,000 healing. A little bit of everything. And I matched their Tyra for kills, at least, although I only got 3 assists. We just... we couldn't really kill anything. <laughs> real Andrew Chicken? Is that the real one? Oh my god, they have no idea. Hmm. IDK. <laughs> Fake Chicken. Let's troll him a little bit. You're watching the fake Andrew Chicken chat. Bruh. You're reported. Oh no, I've been reported. Gosh darn it. I'm actually going to get banned for being the real... Uh, or for being the fake Andrew Chicken one day. I guarantee it. I'm calling it now. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen someday. Okay, we got to play Vorat and we got to play... Uh, Jolt BK on a good map. I guess this is probably as good of a map as any, because there's a massive coast that we can knock people off of, so let's do it. And I'm going to skin boost to use this Prime skin. Wait, can I not skin boost to use the Prime skin? Oh, that is a massive scam. What the heck? Why? Bruh. Okay. I paid good money for Amazon Prime to link this skin to my account. I pressed the link button. It did its linky link magic. And I can't even skin boost for the skin that's not even in my inventory. That should be rightfully in my inventory. 
This is so lame. This is so lame, dude. Okay. Well, uh, in that case, let's use the digitized skin. Because we're trolling with Jolt, so we might as well play the troll skin. Ugh, man. That makes the skin super rare. Yeah, it must be limited. Cloth machine. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Whatever. Hmm. Why is your prime linking so bad, Evil Mojo? Uh, let me look it up again. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you collected the explosive Primer Bomb King skin on February 13th, 2024. That was six days ago. I don't have it in my inventory. Let's uh, have some fun. <laughs> so bad. You know I mean. So bad. It's so bad. Why are you whinging? Your Mr. Paladin has just input it to your game. I wish I was Mr. Paladins for that. Uh... All right, we're doing Accelerant with this. Because we're going for max knockback on the Poppy Bombs. Even though it would be nice to have two charges, uh, it reduces the knockback strength by 40%. We can't have that. So we're going to do this. We're going to do Jolt Funny. Backdraft for maximum Poppy Bombs. And... <laughs> uh, this is going to be so bad. Okay. Uh, and They're not going to buy Sentinel, though, except... Okay, why is Makoa buying Sentinel already? Five, Does he just know? Four, is he stream sniping? Three, Am I getting stream sniped right now? Is that what's going one. on here? Okay, whatever. I'm buying Kronos. As many poppy bumps as possible, and we're just going to throw these enemies right off the map. Where did that poppy go, bro? It exploded and didn't hit anything. That clearly should have hit him. I don't know why it didn't. I just got scammed. This whole match is a scam, bro. Stream snipers are in my game. Okay. Well, nobody's up top, so I can just pop down here and hopefully just send you very far away. Not off the map, though. The angles aren't working out for me. How about I drop down here like this and... Yeet. That hit a freaking shield! Three! This is why this is not a serious build. In the slightest. It just It's not very good. You know? Oh, man, and I'm just dead. Even with Jolt, you can't super reliably hit people off the map because they'll buy Sentinel like this nerd. Or they just won't be at the right place at the right time, you know? And then you throw your only Poppy Bomb Array as knockback, and then you don't have movement. You don't have the benefit of Royal Subjects. You don't have the benefit of Chain Reaction for extra damage. It's very bad. Off the map with you. Never mind. I'm just getting brutalized right now. <laughs> uh, I need to buy armor plating as well. Gosh. Fun fact, Sentinel counters EV's ult. Yes, it does, because it's a slow. And the cripple won't stop applying to you until you leave the slow field. Alright, let me throw this down. Get an actual proper kill for once. Yeet! Wow, I just sent you further back into your team. What am I doing? Let me knock you over there so you can go heal. You're welcome. Enjoy. Alright, put on this grumpy here. Ah, that didn't even send him off the map. Okay. I'm dead. Where is everybody? Okay. Let's do more armor plating. I just can't survive long enough to actually throw somebody off the map. That's the problem. Okay. Uh, throw that down. Oh, I just dead. Moji's also playing Recurve and has no items. Wait, so we're losing super hard to a bot right now. That's how bad Jolt is. Oh, boy. Whoa! I can't even throw the Poppy Bomb down. How did he hit that? He is totally stream sniping me. That hook was like... That was too precise. He knew exactly when I was coming up there. And he's buying Sentinel just for my build. Right from the get-go. Because he knew I was playing Jolt. Thinks he's five steps ahead, but no, he's just a filthy cheater. And by cheater, I mean stream sniping. Not an actual cheater. He's not hacking. He's just annoying. Here, take this poppy. JK, don't take this poppy. Alright, let me throw Grumpy down. Oh, it's just so much damage. Try and pop over here and throw that down. That's just send Grover flying. Ah. Not off the map, though. Enemy rampage! Throw that around. <laughs> oh no, I just sent Leon pummeling into Genos. Now Genos is gonna die. That's all my fault. Oh, never mind. Huge Genos stiff. Good job. 
Let me kill the bot. At least I can do that. That didn't even knock him anywhere. I hit him did nothing. Doesn't even have Sentinel. What is going on, man? Jesus. Go, 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 go. Boom. Al Jarman 5 donated right. $3. Your chat said you loved playing with pistol strikes, so let's see that. Mm, hold on. <clears throat> Let me double check the pistol strix redeem. Ah, you're two dollars short, sir. <laughs> you have to read the description of the pistol strix reward. There is a separate redeem for that. I actually charge five dollars for that. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> no, no. Okay, there it is. Ah. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Jeez, whatever. Was he off the map? No, he's not. Wait, he's up here? Okay. Also, thank you for the tier 1 sub. I appreciate that. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's try dropping down here. Wait, where did that shot go? Okay, I guess they're just running away. Hello, Moji. Are you back? Oh, you are. Okay. Oh, you're still dead. Uh, let me chuck this out. I just knocked him closer to the edge so I can be thrown off by him. That's brilliant. Let me max out Chronos for as many poppy bombs as I can. Ah, uh, Jolt is such a funny card, but it's just... It's so not worth it, dude. This play style is so bad. Especially versus serious damage champions. Like, if they had meme characters, it, may, it would be slightly better. But they have Shaolin and Leon. Two meta characters right now. That both will do way more damage than me in a direct duel. And here I am trying to throw a silly poppy bomb. Where did my poppy bomb even go? I threw it out. It just disappeared because he hooked me. This really is just not working out. It's not good. Okay. Hello. Did he just ult to try and not get knocked off the map? My guy. Ah. The sweat is palpable. All right. There's a grumpy. Run away. Run very far away, please. And do not come back. I'm just gonna chuck that over there. You can't counter that. Ha. Huh. Get pranked. Alright, let's get Grumpy there. Oop. It doesn't even send her off the map, it just sends her catapulting into the walls. Go away! No, they just keep hitting the wall! What am I supposed to do? Ah. Wow, that didn't mess her up. Oh, huge void grip. Wait, hold on. We live this, we live this, we live this. Yes. I still can't send them off the map. They just keep colliding with all the terrain. The knockback is too strong. Ah. No, they can't be destroyed me there. I don't know what's happening because my puppy used to disappear with the hook, honestly. It's very weird. Oh, he's just gone. He's going around the other side. He might be coming back. Yeah, there he is. Ah, oh, that missed. Okay. Here's Grumpy. Huge stun. Goodbye. Stay over there, please. Ow. Grumpy. Oh, she's going around the other way. Okay. Go over there. <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> Oh, she didn't even get pulled in by it, but she is also dead. Okay. Up and away you go. <laughs> ah! So much damage. I guess I'll do nimble real quick, and then... I don't know. Save up for armor plating three. Not that it matters. We're going to lose this game anyways. Did she buy Sentinel? No, she didn't. Why did that send her nowhere? That was the limpest jolt throw I've ever seen. And I'm dead. Okay. Dear God. I guess buy Veteran instead. Sure, why not? Oh, nice. That gets stuck right there, because look at that hitbox. Bro, what is that, an Overwatch hitbox? That's crazy. Okay. Anyways.
<laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> ah, finally! The first time Jolt has been good this entire match. Yes. Ah, oh, man. That is beautiful. No! Stop it! What is that hook? Ugh. Props to the Moji for actually hitting that, though. That was a very skillful shot, considering I pummeled her into the wall at Mach 5. Go away! Yes! Another one! Finally! Woo! I did it. And now we lose, because Connor's dead. Unfortunately. Only took all game, but you got one. Yeah. Just goes to show you how much of a meme playstyle this is. This is why no serious BK player ever plays Jolt. They only play it to troll, because it's a troll playstyle. It's uh, it's not good against Shyland. It's not good against Leon. Even on a map that has a giant coastline like that, it's still unreliable for getting kills because it's awkward to actually send people in the right direction. And they, uh, yeah, can also buy a Sentinel if they're Makoa. Or yeah, they can use their own movement abilities to counter it. I mean, if they had, like, a bunch of mobile characters on the enemy team, it would have been even worse for us. Yeah, it's just, it's rough. And that's why I never play it. Anyways, let's go again. After Jolt BK, we've got Vora, so let's crack on with that. Hopefully get a better map for it as well. And then it's Pistol Strix, because of course it's, of course it is. I don't know about cheating, but he was being a weirdo. Oh, he's, he was just stream sniping, I'm pretty sure. That's why he hit some of the especially nasty hooks on me, because he both had good aim and also knew I was coming. And also knew to buy Sentinel from the very start of the match. Here's my Jolt. Hmm. It is what it is. Doesn't matter. It's a mean playstyle anyways, so even if he wasn't stream sniping, I probably still would have lost horribly. Like, it's just, it's Jolt. <laughs> it's Jolt BK. Uh. <clears throat> Can't wait to play some more Vora, though. I haven't played her too much since the guide, because I've been focused on playing the next character for my guide, and also I played a bunch of Eevee because I wanted to. So, yeah. It'd be nice to play this character once again. Stream sniping to ruin enjoyment is despicable. Stream sniping to improve enjoyment is lovable. Yes. What if you stream snipe so Chicken Man can get some good jolts? Ah, yes. Yeah, stream snipe on Victor on Frog Isle. <laughs> yes. Ah, Warder's Gate. There we go. All right. Vora time. Yes. And yeah, should just be a pretty good game here, I hope. Hmm. Show your champions, please. Well, uh, <laughs> I can't exactly do that. I've already locked in. <laughs> if you want, uh, if you want to look up anyone's champions, actually, let me show you how to do it. You head on over. To the Discord server, exclamation mark Discord. You go on over here to the chat, you do slash paladins champions, and then you can type in a player. Uh, or if you already have yourself saved in the bot, then you can just, if you type a command like Aha! that, it'll automatically show you your own champions. Row star nine 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 donated by, one dollar. Like, level. Let me make it up to you for the bad request with another. And there you go, boom. Look Steal at all that. Steal my Genoscript build and become Around Darth Vader. Oh boy. Become the, the enemy team's time. father. Yes. <sighs> I am your father. <laughs> but yeah. We got a very high level BK. We got a very high level Eevee. We got a very high level Grok, Bakoa, Drogos, Fernando, Barrack, Pit. I don't know why Victor is three levels off of 100. Don't worry about that. Um, bunch of champions in the 70s, but over half my champions are 69 or below. Atlas is at 69. What a chad. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, and it shows you last played as well. Okay, who's the champion I have played the least recently? Victor a month ago. Uh, I am the Reaper. Ruckus three weeks ago. Shaolin a month ago. Kinesa a month ago. And Nara a month ago. Hmm. Okay. Cool. And yeah, Talos a month ago. So yeah, there you go. Easy. And you can do that for anybody. You can do that for me. You can do that for Z1 Unknown, Frost Fangs, Kami, whoever. Okay, they've got Rom. Oh, that sounds like an unyielding pressure game to me. 
<laughs> that sounds like a fun time right there. And we also have Geno, so I'm going to go my sustain build for the extra healing. And uh, that is precision. So yeah, we are 100% starting this match with armor plating. I do need Kronos as well, but uh, yeah. Leon's going to be the biggest threat, and if I can deal with her, I can deal with anybody. We're also going to need some Unbound, so let me do that for the damage down, but... Wakona's Wrath out there buying Deft Hands. I see you. All right, let's go. Up here. And they're all over there, of course, because that's how everyone plays on this map for some reason. All right, there we go. Got that. And they're still just all up there, aren't they? Okay. Ooh, lots of damage from the on here. Okay, you got healed up, didn't you? Real fast. I'm out of position there. I'm just dead. Crap. Leon and Sky were all over me. <laughs> Rom is just deep in our backline. We're hard focusing him right now. He just will not die, though. Why are we struggling to kill him? So we have precision, too. He's just immortal for some reason. Okay. I'm missing that. I'll do that. I'm probably dead, though. Holy crap, why are they so aggressive right now? What is this? Unrelenting aggression from that comp. They're making all the space, and we have none. <laughs> Okay. We are not doing super well right now. At least Rom dies, but it's way too little too late. That's the only kill we've gotten so far. Uh, I will try and pop in this room and see if I can take an off angle. Yep, there's some damage on Sky. Neon up here as well. There's some damage. Hit that heavy hit. She's going to get away for now, but that's okay. I need to build up stacks again. There we go. What are you doing, silly? Stop it. You're Sky. You don't win this. I don't care that you got buffed. I'm Vora. I just straight up hard counter you. Alright, thank you for that heal. Throw that cripple out. I think that hit Sky instead of Ying. That's okay. Whoa! Wow! What is all that damage, dude? Jeez! This Leon is smoking me with that Sky together. They're just doing so much damage. My team is just so low all the time. What is going on here? <laughs> Why are we so squishy? Gotcha. Yes! Ha, <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> At least I got the Leon. That's all I wanted. Mm. Alright. Um, uh, close to Unbound. Honestly, I might not go for that, though, because Damba's not a problem right now. It's all Leon. Like I said, she's the biggest problem we have to deal with. And if we can take her out, we should be good. Ooh. Oh, I sniped her again. She's low. Never mind, she's full health, because I guess, I don't know, she's got way better healing than I do. Mmm, <laughs> block that. Run away. Okay. Uh, do some damage to Rom. He's low. Might go in for a bit of an ult here. Boom. Gotcha. Obliterate. Huge damage. Survive. Kill the Leon. Kill Ying. That's a triple. Let's go. Give me quad. Unofficial quad. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite an unofficial penta, but uh, I'll take it. Unless... Ah, yeah, no. <laughs> Alright. Good stagger on Dampa, though. We can defend now. For sure, we got this. There's no way they push. Seven, I'm six, so confident I'm not even going to cripple Rom, even four, though he could run in here, because he's just not even running. Two, oh, there he goes. One. What are you doing here? Overtime. No, stop it, you and your overtime. Get out of here. Rom's going to die here any second. Let me throw Dark Siphon to finish. Ooh, terrible Ying ult, and we got it. Good stuff. No, she dodged the Dark Siphon. Okay. Give Vora increase the damage to obliterate the longer she falls. I would totally be down for that as a talent. At base kit, it might be too strong, because you can imagine stacking it with unyielding pressure, but honestly, just replace Deafening Silence with that, or just add it on to Deafening Silence. That'd be awesome. Okay. Um, I guess I can do armor plating and unbound too. That's good. I can keep pace with Maldamba. Who, yeah, just bought Deft Hands too. So, yeah. Beating him at his own game while also simultaneously countering the other. Yes. Two, one. Ah, alright. 
I'm gonna go this side this time, because they all went this side last time, and so maybe I can do some damage. Indeed I can! This guy's already almost dead! Oh, Leon's dead, though. And not their Leon, our Leon. It's pretty bad. Nope! Do not pass go, do not collect 200. Nope, no ultimate. <laughs> I am Vora, I deny your existence. Hello. Huge damage on Sky. And then I can pop up here and finish her, hopefully. All those shots miss, but it doesn't matter. Wait, why did that one miss? Got stuck on the wall. Okay. I guess Sky does get away then. I'm amazed. I don't know why that last shot just missed. Weird Warder's Gate hitboxes, I guess. Ooh, he dodged the heavy. Yeah, really weird Warder's Gate hitboxes here. Ah, uh, don't like it. I wish that hit. That actually probably would have killed her. All right, heal up. Thank you, Ying, for the free darkness stacks. I approve. All right, put some pressure on that Rom there. Gonna have to touch soon. Dark Siphon on Leon. Mm. Maybe I should look into some life rip this match, honestly. Need some extra sustain. Alright, I'm gonna die for that, but at least I got their tank. Let me do some life rip. I just need to supplement this Genos healing somehow. It's Genos, you know. <laughs> One of the worst healing output healers in the game. It's not his fault, it's just that's the truth. That's how Genos works. Consistent healing, that's what he's about. But I need burst. I need to not be in this position right now. I'm feeding really hard. Ah, ba 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 ba! No, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <sighs> kind of low on credits. I just need so many items, but we haven't capped these last two points, so I'm falling behind. The enemy team. Good thing Sky's dead, but their Leon's also popping off right now. And she's got Rom in her face blocking damage, so I am not even going to be able to kill her right now. Alright, good kill. Now we can push her. There's a huge Dark Siphon. Dodge that. Nice kill by Leon. Alright. Build some stacks. Hit that siphon on you. Don't think I should chase that, though. Oh, that hit Damba. Okay. Oh, let's get that bonus damage. Look at that. 49 per tick on Rom. Huge. Bam. Gotcha. Is she down here? No, she's over there. Lots of damage. That armor plate is hurting, though. She's buying it for me, too. Ooh, okay. Hold your horses. Okay. What are you doing back here? I have Unbound! Stop it! Ooh, that actually hurt. <laughs> I didn't time that properly at all. Dark Siphon. Got him. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, man. Genos, no. Why'd you do that? You're just dead now. Genos, no. Uh, okay. Let's group up. I need everyone back here. This guy is pushing in really. Oh, man. I have to heal up and spawn. Time's ticking. Ah, uh, just to be safe. Yeah, I was not gonna live that. Awkward positioning. Forced out my abilities. We got a touch point. We're not on it right now. Wow, I just got one shot. Okay, goodbye. My God, excuse me. We are really lacking survivability. I think that's our big deal. It's not that we're lacking damage, because I can definitely kill them. We're just really struggling on healing, because we have a Genos. They have Ying. That's just a massive heal diff, and that's the way things are in 2024. If you pick a healer who doesn't heal a lot, you just lose. Because <laughs> all supports are our healers in 2020-2024, apparently. I said that again, 2020-2024. I don't know why I say that. My brain just breaks when I try and say that year. There's too many 20s. <laughs> Not healers, they are heal bots. Yeah, exactly, right. <clears throat> Three, the best support two, in the game is the support one. that can heal the most, and that's it. Support identities? Interesting utility on supports? Nah, what's that? 
It's all healing. That's all we do. Healing. Heal, heal, heal. You don't heal, you lose. I know I floated this in a previous stream, but it kind of makes me interested in the idea of bringing back some form of... Maybe not old Luminary, but maybe some sort of other buff that Genos can provide with his mark to give him more utility. Because if you make him a heal bot, he becomes overpowered because of his ease of use and convenience, right? Like, we saw overpowered Genos heals. It was not fun. But with low healing output, which is what he's designed for, and no other utility, he just doesn't really work, I feel. The only time you pick Genos nowadays in a serious setting is on Dawnforge, basically, because he heals through walls, and that's it. Why did I miss that dark side? What am I doing? Hmm. Ah, yes, make Cauterize 100%. No, that's a bad idea. Hello, and cripple. And obliterate for more damage. And somehow that still doesn't chew away all of the soul armor. Okay, well, at least we cap. Okay. We go up, and over here. And I'm just not gonna help with Damba right now. Bad position there. Oof. Out of position. No, don't make caught 95%. Cauterize does not need to be changed. From my point of view, Genos has a lot of mandatory cards, so they could start by adding them to base. What would you even add? That's what I don't really understand. I mean, yeah, he has the cooldown and duration cards and the range and whatever, but like. I feel like adding that to base kit would kind of... I don't know. I, I don't think that's the right idea. I think giving him some sort of utility back would be good. Give him a reason to be picked. Because he used to be meta back in the day with old Luminary. Even though he was a trash healer. Terrible healer. Because the damage amp would help you win duels. The damage amp was what mattered. It was why you played the character. Now, I don't know if adding that back would be a good idea. Probably wouldn't. Because it was pretty busted. But maybe like a movement speed bo bonus or something like that. I don't know, just some sort of utility. Maybe increase jump height when you have a, an astral mark on you, I don't know. G give the character's moon gravity! Ow! Because, <laughs> you know, he's some sort of cosmic creature. I, I don't know. Away with you. Your purpose. Oh, hello. Alright, Rom, you need to get out of our back line, like, yesterday, okay? There we go, gotcha. Ah, uh, we are just struggling so much. Luckily, their Leon is dead, that's good for us. Stop it. There we go, just slam into you. Got my stacks back. Oh, my hit Sky, there's the Dark Siphon. And you are gone. Boom, perfect. I want to be careful pushing this. I don't think I'll tendril that. I'll just do that, and boom. Push that safely. Then reposition. There we go. 10, 9, 8, 15 to 20% 7, speed buff to six, marked allies. Five, yeah, it'd be interesting. Four, three, two, five in a row. One. You want to be careful with that, though, because it does have really good consistency. So whatever buff you have to provide, you maybe either have to hamper down on the consistency to counteract it, or just be very careful with the scaling of the buff, or whichever buff you end up deciding to do, you know? But that would give Genos a very distinct identity again, right? Time's ticking. Away with you. Nope. Purpose. And you die. But Rom is in our back line again. Ulting me? Okay. <sighs> well, hopefully we can cap this again. We do have most of our ults here. We just still have comeback mechanic. We just gotta make this happen here. Uh, my final item should probably be Veteran, even though she has Debilitate. Because... Actually, never mind. She is doing a lot of damage to me with Poison Bolts. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll just double down on Armor Plating. Uh, although, maybe I could do Arcane Warding. Would that be good for anything? Just her ultimate, but also, like, Wakona's Wrath it would help with. Debilitate it would help with, because it's ability damage. Uh, Rom's ult... Ah, what the heck, why not? I never buy this item. Let's change Five, that. <laughs> Let's four, just see how it feels. Three, two, Actually, wait, it's still bugged, one. though, isn't it? Never mind. Change my mind again. Spy Unbound. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Ah. Hello. Can you not? Oh, I'm poisoned, too. Jeez. 
And there's an illusion in my face. Get the illusion out of my face. Oh, I crippled the illusion. Okay. Showed it. Who's boss? I think you need to play OTM with Evie's best card at level five. Cold acclamation. No, not cold acclamation, Stealthy. No, why would you do that? How dare you? Uh, man, I don't wanna. All right, let's pop this. Ooh, dodge the fear with that. There we go. You're gone. Now I gotta figure out how to not die here. Pop that for the heal. Tentral back. Oh, she still kills me. Okay. At least I got Rom down, but I don't think it's ultimately a good trade for us here because we're all dropping like flies. Barrack's gonna die up here. Okay, no, he does get away, thankfully, for the time being. We still got Barrack Dome Shield. We gotta use that on point here soon. What the heck, Genos? What are you doing? How they don't even have knockback! Well, how? How do you do that? Enemy killing spree. Okay, I'm without a healer right now. And we don't even get touched for Dome Shield. Bro, what? What? What just happened? Okay. <clears throat> Yikes. <sighs> okay. I got 18 kills. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, sadly, the rest of my team was really struggling there. 138,000 healing from generals. He actually healed more than the Ying. That's crazy. I don't know how he even did that, considering the Ying's heals were so much more impactful in terms of actually saving their lives. Look at the deaths on their team versus our team. They were able to survive so much more effectively. Hmm. And ultimately, uh, I guess part of the other reason why... Uh, Ying didn't get quite as much healing as Genesis because Damba got an additional 37,000, Rom got an additional 14,000, and together they did have more healing output than our team. Oh, man. Genesis gets big numbers, but it isn't useful healing. Yeah, that's ultimately how it feels at the end of the day. I just wish there were more unique support identities instead of just everyone is all about healing and that's it. <laughs> there are so many heal bots nowadays. Rover's a heal bot. I was a heal bot. Ying is a heal bot. I'm okay with Ying being a heal bot because that's literally her design, but the rest of them used to have more unique identities, and those are kind of lost. Geno's heal bot, Lilith heal bot, Maldamba even is kind of a little bit of a heal bot. Uh, he has his stuns and stuff as well, though. Pip heal bot, combat medic. Ray, one of the only supports that actually has a unique identity. Saris heal bot. Grok, unique identity, thankfully. Furia, more of a damage champion now than anything. And Corvus is pockets. But majority of supports these days are heal bots. You know? It's tragic. Rom can't get healed because his soul's overheal. Oh yeah, that too. Alright. Okay, let's swap the party now. It's uh, at the two-hour mark. We're gonna get some new people in here. If you want to join, say your name in the chat. Sure. Is in a match and cannot be invited. Sure, how am I supposed to invite you? You're playing a different game. Um, no block. Zuna, 84. Uh, Wiro. And then let's try Shure again. Sure. Not in a match, Bugadins. Okay, go to the shooting range and then leave the shooting range. That should fix your in a match status. Hmm. Sure ain't sure. Mm -hmm. Ray is basically an Overwatch support by how she can turn around and clap a flanker's cheeks. <laughs> yeah, but she's also situational. I like that she's situational, personally. I like situational supports. Because, yeah, I mean, she will be able to clap Buck, like, really hard. But Talus will shred her. Koga is the hardest counter to her in the flank class. Because he can also cleanse the Link at will. I like that there's, you know, an interesting dynamic there. Because, yeah, in Ranked, that leads you to make more interesting decisions based on the characters that are chosen. Alright, we'll try Shure again. Boom. Yes! It worked! Amazing. Okay, time to throw another match. <laughs> uh, we're throwing two matches in a row, aren't we? Oh, no, because we also got the Darth Vader request. Let me get that Genos build real quick, just so we can keep Genos. the ball rolling. Uh, Rose Star... There we go. Well, bam. Okay, so it's this grip build, right? Uh, looks like it. Heavenly pull, inner peace, falling star. Yep. <laughs> Eclipse. That's interesting. I don't usually see that card plate, but we'll try it out. 
Give it the question mark treatment as always, and let's go. So yeah, Pistol Strix up first, then the Genos build, then Over the Moon with a throwing build. Oh god, not the throwing build. <laughs> do I still have it? Oh, I do. God. I also made some more buck builds yesterday, because I just wanted to see what I could do, and I made a few more interesting combos. I kind of revamped some of my speed, or some of my net builds. So I have this net speed build with Gotcha at level 5, but I also try to make something interesting, which is like Gotcha level 5 stomping ground. And then the idea is I also buy like Nimble and Lethality, I have Leg Day, it's just a max movement build. I haven't tested it yet, but it seems interesting. Made an ammo version of Bulk Up. Made a lifesteal build that's pure healing with rapid sustain. Just so many buck builds. Love his loadout diversity. Yeah, I filled up all nine of those loadout slots. Heck yeah. So many different card combos. And each of them are not totally Death unique, but somewhat very big. Like this has bully in it. This has no bully. It's just cooldown reduction movement speed. And also Tangled, because I was interested in trying that card out. I still haven't tried this build yet either. Uh, but the idea is, you know, it's a slow. Most people don't buy Sentinel, so having an extra second of slow might be interesting. But, uh, yeah, that's something to test. Uh, these three builds are the same. This is just classic Bounce House. Leg Day, specifically for a map like Timber Mill. And then we have the other version, which is No Kill. So I can jump on somebody and then jump away without necessarily needing to kill them using Exhilarate and the other cooldown card at level 5, which is an interesting play style that I actually heard about, I think, from Kana and Dilly, maybe? Uh, something like that. It's Sheriff Thorn. Sadly, we don't get to play don't it. Instead, we have to throw. But at least I get to use a cool skin. Buck having more loadout variety than all 2022 and 2023 champions combined. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, uh, I also, I was going to maybe make uh, a bulk up build with Giga Siphon, which is the card that gives 60% movement speed while using recovery, which is a lot of movement speed, but I tested it in the shooting range and I just wasn't satisfied with it because it's just one second. I feel like if it lasted for one second after recovery, it might be better. Don't want to make it last too long because it's, uh, you know, it's 60% movement speed, but you know. I also tried stacking the movement speed after Elim card with Lethality, but there's just such heavy diminishing returns there. Maybe I'll revisit that idea and just not have to buy Lethality, but I don't really know. Mostly because people don't experiment with new characters as much, they just play the meta for said character. Well, the thing is, you're right, Sarley. They don't experiment with new characters as much because they don't have as many interesting cards to experiment with. Because the cards don't scale as high. So, you either run them at level 5, or not at all, or sometimes they're not even worth running at level 5. And so it's uh, much worse build diversity as a result. <clears throat> like, what other character has a lifesteal card that scales up to 60% besides Buck? There is none, last I checked. Why not? Why, why don't we fix that? <laughs> why, why not make those cards worthwhile to run? I don't know. Come on. That's why I made my whole cards video I'm talking about why high scaling cards are Here's a more randomized build maelstrom of Carnage Lilith Ooh. with Waning Moon 2, Overflowing Delights 2, Enriched oh Blood 4, okay. Virulent 2, and Wings of Terror 5. Have fun. All right, I'll try it out. Sounds interesting. I say as I have no idea what any of those cards do because uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't play Lilith enough to know what those cards are. Uh, let's just do this. Pistol Strix, hooray. Max health, all of this wonderful stuff. Uh, we're gonna buy Deft Hands because he's a really long reload on his pistol. Look at that. That is so long for a pistol that only has 16 shots. That's a piece of garbage that does no damage, Weiro. Carry me with yes. your buck. What do you got in here? Stomping Ground, Momentum, Exhilarate. Alright. Street Sweeper Filler, interesting. Five, four, a little bit of extra reload three, speed must feel good. Two. That's just like max, max cool reduction on leap. Alright, well, let's go. First flare is a miss! No! Oop, that hit the wrong person, but that's fine. Hello, Khan. Oh boy. Alright. I'm gonna go invis. I need a heal. 
Uh, we have Solo Furia. All right, let me be a bit more patient then. Buy some life steal on Pistol Strix. Yeehaw! I'm flanking. Flank Strix time. Let's go. Ooh, hello. Uh, I can't even stealth. Why is Strix's stealth up? I'm so bad with that Nocturnal. Barely get any. Like, it just doesn't regen. It lasts for like two seconds. Kind of cringe. Genos has a 25 to 30% lifesteal card and he's a support. Yeah. It actually had to get nerfed, I think, back in the day because it was too strong with Binary Star, people said. That might have been during the 75% lifesteal days, was that? Was that when Binary Star was good? I don't remember. I played Paladins for too long. <laughs> I'm a grandpa. I'm starting to forget these things, you know? 22 years old, and you can already see wrinkles on my forehead. No, you can't. There are no wrinkles on my forehead. It's an analogy for the fact that I'm a paladin's boomer. Alright. Uh, Flare. Sir, please. Gotcha. Nice fear. I'm going to try and capitalize on that. Yes, get the Zin. Pistol Strix popping off here. Me and my finger gun. There's a flare. Keep on flare sniping out here. <laughs> the brilliant thing about Pistol Strix this patch is that it got buffed. Because the flare is ability damage. So, yeah. If they buy armor plating, my flare is still doing 100% full damage. And it's a beautiful thing. Oh, come here, sir. And yeah, Deft Hand's got buffed too. It's cheaper. So we really are just gaming with this playstyle. Every patch, for some very subtle, indirect reason, this playstyle gets stronger. Yes! Instead of the nerfing the self-heal and mark card, they nerfed the lifesteal card. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I kind of... I, I am kind of sad to see how they treated that talent, you know? Uh... Because it was a good playstyle. In my opinion, it wasn't overpowered. Of course, part of it, I think, also has to do with controller ruining everything because of aim assist. But still, like, it was good, but... I mean, it's just, it's just damage. Genos, like... <laughs> I feel like it got treated way too harshly in terms of how much they hammered it down. Boom, there's a flare. Spree. Come back! Ah! Oh, this is bad. Ow. All right. Binary Star didn't get ruined by aim assist. It was self-sustained. Well, yeah, self-sustained. Part of that comes from you being able to hit shots more consistently and hit headshots more consistently with the aim assist. You know? Ah. Ah, crap. Hold on. Pause, pause, pause. Where's my healer? Thank you, Fury. Appreciate it. Wow, I just said that at the exact same time as this skin. <laughs> nice. What? Why is she dead? How did she die? You're in spawn. Okay. This is awkward. Uh, let's do more nimble. Uh, gosh. Should I buy lethality? Trigger scent? Yeah. Probably not. But maybe. What if I did? Might be funny. Uh, crap. My off map. Wow, I actually am. I couldn't get onto the small platform. Jeez. Sucks not having a movement ability. I knew it was coming too. I backed up, but it didn't back up far enough. I'll do some life trip. Just to be funny. Buying deft hand so I get to shoot more. So that means more life steal is a good thing, right? Especially because our healer is constantly dead, because what the heck, why are the enemies pushing so hard? Someone stop them! I wish I could, but I'm Pistol Strix. Ha, <laughs> I get pranked. Oh man, I can't even spawn. Alright, I'm gonna go invis. Walk around the side, and then light him up. Yes! Ah. There's a flare, just keep the damage coming. I don't know how we're even this game. It feels like we're getting dominated right now. But we're somehow still competitive with these guys. <laughs> Flare! Ow! Alright, so let me dash 
back there. That Fury is so low. I wish I could snipe her, but I can't. Because I'm playing Pistol Strix. There's Flashbang. See if that helps. No, he's ulting. Okay. Booby Trap Vivian? Sure. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it very much. Match is hectic right now. Die! Thank you. Alright, I'm pushing in. I'm Pistol Strix. You can't stop me. I'm too strong! Ha 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 ha! Zin's back there doing something. Okay. Well, he's dead. Good. Oh, Koga's going up top. I thought he was coming in the hallway. There he is. Stop it. Die. Yeah, get that flare back there. I kind of want to flank that Furia. Oh, that was so close to hitting, but it just did. Crap. Oh, huge beam. Nice. She's one. Good. I'm chasing it. Ah. Yo, he almost got diffed by Pencil Strix. Okay, I've helped. Do you still need it? There's a flare. Or a flash. Ah, I'm running. Oh boy. I need to help back here. Fury is getting harassed. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, I do not want to be here. Good dome shield. He's going to light them up. Where is it going? There he is. Please die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, I don't get a cat on the Furia ult. Okay. Let's max this out and let's do some trigger scent to buff my damage even further. <clears throat> New limited time mode idea. Cryptic, if you were here, limited time pistol only Strix. Oh no. Ah, uh, that sounds just too silly. <laughs> Ah, 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 sir, ah, 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 sir, you got healed? Where's my heal? Oh, thank you, Furia. I can't believe I lived that. Oh, I'm dead now. Goodbye. Jeez. This is actually pretty close. We're only 20 points ahead right now, but they are closing in fast. Good kill on Khan. Try and push in here. I'm gonna go up top. I'm gonna flank with our flanks. They are popping off right now. Nice. Keep getting those kills. Let me get in the fight here. Hello, on. Flare. Shooting through the gap in the wall. Nice. Ooh. And I get bonus damage there. Hey. Nice. I saw that back. Ha ha ha! Ha! Killed him. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's not as beautiful. I'm dead. We're up by 50, but we're down two players right now. Trigger sent two. Come on, guys, just live this. Just live this. Protect the Furia if you can. They're flanking her. Oh, no, she's so Enemy dead. Oh, man. Okay. Come on, we only need 20 points to win. They're ulting out there right now. We need to be careful. There's some damage. All right, I'm going to try and flank around. Thank you, Furia. Going to see if I can be the winner here. Oh, he knows. Hold on. He's holding point. I can't 1v1 Khan. I can't do it. <laughs> Maybe me being a distraction back here is all we need. Maybe it's enough. Oh, she's getting a beam to me. Yes. This game is really closing up, though. Fox here. I feel like I need to be focusing that Furia more. I'm out of stealth. They have officially passed this right now. Oh, I can't die right now. I can't die. I can't die. Need to heal up. Oh, crap. Okay. Going in as a last ditch effort. Whoa! Movement speed! No, we lose. That was. Ah! Uh, that was so close. We just let them bring it back. Ah! Uh, that's so sad. I tried, but I'm Pistol Strix, man. I was not the reason we were winning that. Six whole kills. 80,000 damage, though. That's not bad. But, uh, yeah, I got completely dwarfed by kills. I went hard negative. It was bad. It was very, very bad. And that was one of the better st Pistol Strix games we've had in a while. <laughs> this playstyle is so garbage, dude. Uh, 
I feel like I've done nothing but lose today. That's because for the most part I have. I've only won two matches today. Can we change that? Let's try and change it. Up next, we got to do the Genos thing. So let's see what we can do with that. I got no help with Zin there. Got harassed for like two minutes. I wish I could help. <laughs> but I'm business strict. <laughs> uh. All right, Genos. here we go. Genos Gaming. I'm going to flex my Soul Eater skin. A lot of people got the recolor, but I got the original because I'm a boss. I was there for the time. I was there for the event. I paid good money for the skin. Yes. Facebook Genos. No. <laughs> Refund. <laughs> oh, I got a medium gift. Oh, no. No, no. Why would you waste your crystals on me? Uh, I appreciate the thought, but you should never, ever, 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 under any circumstances, give a gift to me. In Paladins. Because I don't get anything out of them, except Event Pass boosters. And I already have 900 of them. <laughs> I have more Event Pass boosters than I will need in two lifetimes, okay? Here, look, I'll use one right now, just because. 905 I Event Pass boosters. Sweet blood. So... Yeah, please spend your crystals on yourself. Don't spend them on me. I already have everything inside of every gift. I, I don't need more. <laughs> okay, thankfully I'm not playing solo healer Genos here. Hopefully that's a Totemic Rock. That's what I would play here. We're just going to grip these guys and maybe win, maybe don't. Once they buy Unbound, probably don't. Who knows? Yeah, I'm doing damage, Genos. So, we shall pop off here, grab the enemies, just uh, grip them up in the air like I'm Darth Vader, force choke them, It'd be beautiful. How old are you? <laughs> the ancient age of 22, yes, exactly, Sarley. 22. I'm a few months into it, too. It's February, oh god. How has it already been almost three months since I turned 22? Dear god. I, too, am 22, yo. Which update do you think has been the worst in Paladins ever? Singular update? Has to be OB64. Because of the permanent damage it caused to the game. Even though they reverted the change, it caused irreparable harm to the game's reputation and caused thousands of players to leave. You <laughs> what? You're not 40? Evil inside. But Andrew's sad that winter's gonna end and we're gonna move to spring. Stealing. Yeah, I am sad. You know why? Because it's gonna get blazing hot where I live, eventually. I mean, it's been a, a reasonably cold spell right now, and I'm happy for that. But, yeah, it's gonna get up to like... Uh, I'm not looking forward to summer, dude. I don't want... I hate summer. I hate summer so much. It gets so hot, and it gets so sweaty, and it's so uncomfortable, and I don't like it. And there's nothing I can do about it either. It's not like I can stream naked. Unless I turn my webcam off. Uh, but <sighs> at least in winter I can wear warm clothes. And I like wearing warm clothes. I like long sleeves and pants. I feel like I look better in them too. They're just nice. Alright, Power Cosmium. Uh, it was the question mark build. And then we're going to grab some Chronos for Max Grips. Grippy Grippy. He also doesn't want to visit Egypt, because in summer the weather is so hot, 45 degrees Celsius. I don't want to live there. I would still totally visit to see, like, pyramids and stuff. Ah, die. But, uh, yeah, I'd probably time that trip for the winter. Because, <laughs> uh, I, I will not do well in the desert. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just grip Moji back there just to be annoying. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. They're not pushing too hard, but we can't really push either. There he is. Grip. Turn around! Team, you gotta turn around when I grip the Caspian. Shoot him. It's your time to trap him. Alright, good. He's dead. Grip. We don't have an angle on her, do we? Yeah, okay. Man. You really gotta have a team that's willing to capitalize on your grips with Power Cosmium, otherwise it's so much less effective. It's not like Makoa Hook where you can hook them and then shoot them after. Void Grip is a lot less effective than that. Oh, wow. Well-timed. <laughs> Still dead, though. 
like, uh, that's hilarious. I don't know why she didn't teleport. That was weird. <sighs> Egypt is a wonderful place in the summer. You'll die from heat stroke. Ah, yes, exactly. See, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Doesn't sound like a good time to me. Oh, come on, he's won. You have another thing. Void grip. Come on, blast him. Blast him, why are you shooting under the thing? No. All right, void grip. He's buying unbound. Not enough right now. Haha. <laughs> grip, does that kill? Yes, it does. Huge. Let me get in her face. There we go. And grippy, grippy. You're dead. Huge. Genos gaming right now. They cap the first objective. That went very well. But once they max out Unbound, we're probably going to lose. That's the sad truth. Oh, and I can't even heal you. Okay. Well, let's be careful here, then. Wow, she magic barriered the millisecond I pressed that grip on her. Okay. Walk past that doorway. I dare you. Oh, you're over there. Okay, grip. No one's looking! Three! Ah. What is the highest temperature you've endured? Oh, I don't know. Probably like 35, 36 C. Something like that. Probably hotter. I don't remember the hottest day of my life. I mean, above the 100s Fahrenheit, but back when I was measuring Fahrenheit, I don't know what that would translate into into Celsius. I think I had an illusion. Oh, she is one. Thank you, Wero. Grippy, Grippy. Shoot her! Yes! Oh, she's over here. I found her. I found you! Grippy, Grippy. Yeah! Can't stop my grip now! You already used your ult. It's too late. Haha. <laughs> Come here, Moji. Boom. Gotcha. Let's go. Shredding these guys. Grip you up in the sky. And you're dead before you hit the ground. Perfect. Let me yoink you in the air. Go for that stun. Nice con. Bully this man with CC. Oh, poor Dredge. The damage from the grip kills him, though. Nice. Sounds like 42 is hell. I have endured 45C. It was awful. Oof. Yeah. I just do not like the heat. <laughs> Makes me suffer. Egypt is worse than Florida. IMO it was a dry heat when I went. Yeah, it must be so parched. Living through that. Alright. Uh, let me try... Oop, never mind. I was gonna try and do an ult. Gotta dispatch this Caspian first. Now let's try it. Oh, that killed Terminus? Okay, not who I expected, but I'll take it. And we definitely pushed with that. Let's go. Murder! Yes, I did it. <laughs> You are alone, child. There is only darkness for you and only death for your people. These cheaters are only the beginning. I will command a great and terrible army, and we will sail to a billion worlds. We will sail until every paladin server has been extinguished. Capture you are strong, child, seconds. but I am beyond strength. I am the end, and I have come for you, Andrew Chicken. Dun, dun, dun. Four, three, two, okay. One. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to Juno's gameplay. Like. Yay. Compared to the sun here, Florida is nothing. How hot does it get in Peru? Like, I know there are the Andes and a bunch of mountains and stuff, and up there it's probably not that hot. But I know there are also like lower parts of. Not sure what the climate's like, though, actually. I don't know enough about the geography of the region. Uh. Grippy, grippy. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, crap. Wait, pause, Moji. I need another grip. Oh, you're just void gripping for uh, magic barriering. What am I saying? All right, let me help Khan touch the point. There's a heal for you. I'm going to slip around here and say hi to Ying. Hi, Ying. You stay up there. Oh, I died. Okay, that was just bad. That was just bad. What am I doing? Um, 
Okay. I'll also do some Nimble. I think I'll actually max out Nimble before upgrading armor plating more. It's just fun. Feels good. Is it possible to talk about high temperatures without Texas and Florida to start a... <laughs> A, a dick measuring competition? Uh. Gosh. They're both hot. But not in a good way. Not hot like. Ooh, wow, she's hot. No, they're just terrible. No, thank you. That was the wrong person to grip, but I gripped her anyways. And you know what? That's good. I guess it ended up working out for me. You are full health. Stop it. Ying full healing you the second you leave the corner? Okay. If you're in Tosta, the sun is tolerable. If you're in Sierra, good luck. Well, I don't know where either of those are located. But uh, given the names, yeah, Hello. Sierra sounds Remember pretty hot. When I, gave 100 I don't even know what Sierra means, but it sounds hot. Five and Avalanche five? Yes. I think you should do it two times in a row. I haven't over, even gotten to it <laughs> I haven't even got to it once yet, Stealthy. <laughs> ah! You want me to do it again? Ah. Uh. Whatever. Arizona, mm-hmm. Can't forget about all the hot states. In the Southwest, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Oklahoma, Southern California, Nevada, Utah. Uh, makes me sick. Ooh, all right, we are diffing Caspian, good. Good mark over there. Void grip you up there. You still have not bought Unbound? What are you doing? Huge mistake. Oh, get off of me. Get off me. Go away. Ah! Only traveled through Arizona, but it was hot, hot. Yeah. Hell can't hold me. Alright, more nimble. Sierra is where the Andes is located? Oh. Wait, so it's hot in the mountains? Enemy double kill. If he's... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. He doesn't like me. I see how it is. Jeez. Alright, Keepa can have the worst sun ever, while Puno can have the worst cold ever. Enemy killing so it's just like a really weird climate then. How the heck does that work? Because I just assume the higher up you go in the Andes, the colder it gets. Because, duh. The atmosphere is, uh, thinner, you know. It's just colder. That's how altitude works. Is it, like, I guess hot at, like, closer to the bases of the mountain sun? I don't know. I don't know how this geography works. I have not studied the Peruvian landscape. Alright, he's just gone. I have yet another grip. Hmm. Is that Terminus just going in? Oh, it is. Let me grip you away from Dredge. That uh, didn't help. Dredge is just dead. If I can get another grip, though, maybe we can kill Terminus? Probably better spent on Caspian, though. Oh, he just farmed our... Grok, I'm dead. Those flanks are devious, and they're gonna stall this game out long enough for them to have another chance at capping, it seems. His Khan does not have this. Yeah. Enemy Unfortunate. Rampage. Oklahoma, I feel, isn't that bad, but maybe I'm used to it by now. Oh, you... <laughs> do you live in Oklahoma? Dead men tell no I, I don't even know what goes on in Oklahoma. It just strikes me as a big nothing burger. Nothing in Oklahoma. It's okay. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Is anywhere consistently cold, which is bearable to live? Oh, I'm sure there are plenty of places, yeah. That don't have super hot hummer, uh, uh -huh. super hot summers, like, uh... Bro Star I mean, you can pretty much donated just go to, like, So New I started England. to replay the <laughs> Mass sure. Effect series again yeah. for the nth time. Reminds hmm. me of my next request. Maximum Five, teleport, four, Kinesa. Three, I know it's pointless, two, but right. that's the point, One. I guess. Goodness, we have so many requests today. But yeah, like, Pennsylvania and... Uh, upwards, like north of there. Pretty sure it'd be fine. I haven't lived there personally, but... I know it's a lot colder than it is here where I live in North Carolina. Frickin' terrible state. Don't like it here. <laughs> Wish I could leave, but I can't yet. Um, 
And then, yeah, like, Montana, although that's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so... You know, you might have to get used to having a bunch of cows as company and not really having too many people to talk to. But, yeah, that's okay. Uh, ah, Michigan. Although, that's kind of too close to Detroit for my liking. Nobody wants to live in Detroit, trust me. Um, and then, yeah, there's also, like, Washington State. Seems pretty reasonable. I don't know why I did that. As the denizen of PA, summer sucks more whole than a sarlacc, because, yeah, the temps aren't too bad, but the humidity level chugs harder than Charlotte's food drops. Wow, what a poet. That was a vivid description. Uh, well, I guess I'm... I stand corrected, then. I've only been to Pennsylvania once. It was a very short experience. I don't even remember most of it. I just remember eating a pizza. Like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all I remember from going to Pennsylvania. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. You are outmatched. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Hello. And of course, we can't forget Alaska. Although it does get very cold there because, duh, it's Alaska. But it also has some very, very pretty uh, nature scapes, I guess you would call them. I don't know. Just very beautiful places. A lot of places in Alaska that are untainted by human development. They are gorgeous, and I would love to visit a place like that sometime. But uh, maybe not live there, because it's a bit too rural for me. Man, they might actually push this through. Let me stop you dogs from getting eaten there real quick. And kill Moji. Ah, no, never mind. We have this. Our healer's dead. Let me grip you. There we go. Yeah, we hold on for now. Detroit has reinvented itself. Highly recommend. I... <laughs> really? What have, what have they done to improve Detroit in the last, like, few decades? I genuinely don't know. I've pretty much only heard bad things. And I've driven through Detroit a few times. Well, I haven't driven. I have joined my parents as they drove through Detroit a few times. And... I remember not liking what I saw. I saw a bunch of decrepit buildings. That just... Yeah, it, it didn't look good. Detroit became human? Oh my god. No way. Ooh, don't leave the points. Rip. Oh, Ying ult. That's bad. Alright, Khan's back on points. Hero's dead, though. I'm gonna try and throw this out. Just does a chunk of Terminus' health. That's it. Grip you to try and mess you up. We lost our Grok, though. Oh, man. Kill this cast pain! Get him off me, Dredge! Dredge, you gotta hit him! No! We actually lose this, and we spent three ults for that. Dang. Unfortunate. I'll give you some examples of the current climate in Sierra. Cusco, 67 Fahrenheit. Puno, 58 Fahrenheit. 67 Fahrenheit. All three of them during rain season. I'm surprised you're using freedom units. I feel like most people in the chat aren't going to understand that. <laughs> I can tell you what, though. As someone who understands both freedom units and regular units, uh, that's very nice weather. That sounds amazing. I, I would love it if it was like that all the time. Capture points spawning in Anywhere better than Ohio. Some of the craziest things happen in Ohio from what the internet has shown me. Oh, yeah. At least in Ohio, you don't have to deal with the Florida man, though. Oof. They're a different Five, breed. Four. Three, two, one. I couldn't buy Master Writing. Master Writing was locked out there for a second. Did you see that? That was weird. Okay, well, I'll buy it now. There. Alright, let's, let's try this out. Everyone has Unbound. My grip is basically useless. We have to win this through pure skill alone. Nice kill on Terminus there, but we lost our main healer. Grip you. Peek back in. There we go. You're gone. Let me play this safely, though. I'm just going to hide behind this wall and hope that I don't get attacked. I hear Caspian going in. Oh, I fed that barrier. What am I doing? There's another heal. And Grok is back to heal the team. Okay, good. Sir, please. Void grip. Just interrupt. Oh, I got Terminus on me. All right. I can battle Ying. Do a ton of damage to her. Grip. There we go. Ooh, I might die, 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 I might die. 
I might die. Oh, sure, got the willow. Okay, we heal up out of combat. That's good. Grip. Stop the TP. There we go. This is looking really good for us right now. Excuse me, gonna jump underneath you for a sec. <laughs> and it wasted her ult. Let's go. Oh, perfect timing. All right. I'm gonna harass Ying real quick. Void grip, no TP. And she dies. Let's go. Huge 1v1. Spawn camp the Ying. We totally win this game right now. We are popping off. Caspian's coming around. Oop, hello. Uh, whoa. They're both here. They're both here. They're both here. Thank you, Grok. Oh, Grok is a lifesaver. All right. Well, that's it. That's GG. Nice. Let's go. That was a surprisingly good game of Power Cosmium Genos, I have to say. That went way better than I expected. How did we do on the killing front? I feel like I did pretty good. Yeah, 15 kills, not bad. Weiro was hard carrying that 27 kills, and their Caspian emoji both popped off as well. But, yeah, 15 kills, 11 deaths, 32 assists, 71,000 damage, 83,000 healing. We did a lot that game. Grok actually outperformed me in almost every metric, though. Fewer deaths, same assists. More damage and more healing. That's impressive. Grok is insane. Totemic Ward popping off. Hey, I recognize that build. <laughs> nice. Totemic Ward plays. Alright. Uh, what do we want to do next? What was after Genos? I have to scroll down because there's so much stuff. Okay, after Genos was the first over the moon match with the throwing build. So let's get that done. Real quick. You know what? I'll throw TDM back in the queue. In my daily queue bonus. Hawaii sounds like a blast, but not sure how global warming is affecting there. Yeah, it seems like a dangerous spot to be as the temperatures rise. Island country. I don't think the islands would, like, permanently go under the sea or anything like that, but a lot of coastal regions would be in danger. Plus, global warming means more severe weather events, so... Do they get hurricanes? Or is it just tsunamis? Or both? Because I know hurricanes only happen in a certain part of the world. Like, South America basically never gets hurricanes. But I don't know if that's the case for Hawaii. But I know they also get, like, wildfires. That's more dangerous with global warming. Volcano eruptions. Are they on a fault line for earthquakes? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Hawaii is a state. It was a country once, but then it was colonized. Yeah. Yeah, America is still a colonial power. We just conquered Hawaii. It's ours now. <laughs> it's so integrated into the United States at this point, though, that it... Yeah. I feel like if it tried to become independent, it probably wouldn't work very well. I don't even know if they would want to. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's throw. And by throw, I mean let's try to not throw, but I'm basically kneecapping myself with this terrible build that I'm about to play, and so I might end up throwing anyways. Why not play the same Eevee build three times? Smiling face with hearts, smiling face with hearts, smiling face with hearts cards to the max is ending in two hours. So I think some cold acclimation seven would be even more helpful because you are suffering from the heat. Brug. <sighs> I can't play this build too much. No. For two and a half hours into the stream, I gotta close at some point. <sighs> we'll see if we have time for it. Ding dong. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> it's not even my birthday. <sighs> Pain. <laughs> I think we should time out Stealthy. I thought Stealthy was a cultured Eevee main. I was wrong. This is torture. How dare you! What is going on with the part in my hair? <sighs> Fix. Through the magic of using a comb. Wow, look at that. Part be gone. Hey. Gaming. Yes. Ah, that's better. I just want to live a normal life <clears throat> She's making you work overtime, Andrew, I guess. Oh, wow. Ah. I mean, I appreciate all the donations, though. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, uh, not the actual Over the Moon build. We gotta play this garbage. Cold Acclamation 5, Biting Cold 5. For 10 ammo after activating Ice Block. Cold Blooded 3. 
not a terrible card, but I mean, <laughs> that is four seconds off the quote on the vice block for three loadout points. The That's just absurd. I love seeing cards that scale that high. Give me big, Boom. chunky cooldown cards, please, Irez. More of them. Look at that. Just shave four seconds off it. Now it's a 10 second ice block. I mean, with a cooldown that big, <laughs> four seconds, it makes a difference, but it's still not like I have it up all the time. It's crazy. Okay, I'm going to do armor plating because I have shot in the Lots of Texas trying to become independent. I don't think Texas would be able to come in independent and be a successful country. I think they're too tied into the United States, whether they want to be or not. Like, how would they be economically? I don't know too much about the depths of... Whoa, that was weird. I don't know too much about the depths of, like, what their economic situation is. I know a lot of their revenue comes from, like, oil and stuff. But... Yeah, I, I just don't know how good it would be as opposed to, like, if California tried to become independent. I think if any state in the Union were to be able to come become independent and actually be successful, it would probably be California. Because it's the biggest state in the Union in terms of the population, even though Texas likes to pretend it's the biggest state in the Union. It's not even the biggest land area. Alaska beats Texas. But it also has the most robust economy out of any state, as far as I remember. Ow! So... Yeah, it's just got a lot of everything. It'd probably be able to be self-sufficient. Of course, the logistics and political situation of that would also be a nightmare. Like, no state can legally secede from the Union. The last time they tried to do that, they got their faces kicked in and their teeth punched in and they, their eyes jotted out. And it was it was terrible. But you know what? They deserved it because they were terrible a-holes who... Yeah. Bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Like... Yeah, it, it, just, it just, it wouldn't be able to happen, I don't think. I don't think any of them will actually be independent, no matter who wants it to happen. Hmm. Texas could well easily be its own country right now. I mean, you really think so? I know with some things about Texas are already kind of set up to make it more self-sufficient in some ways. Although it kind of backfires on them. Like, uh, it was a few years ago. Was it 2022? 2021? Something like that? They had that, like, whole statewide, like, power outage thing because of, you know, storms or whatever. And that was because they were on a separate electrical grid to the rest of the United States. Your sight right? Fails you. Like, basically every other state has interconnected electric systems with, you know, other states, but Texas doesn't. So, that just kind of screwed them, I think, if I remember correctly. But that does also mean that I guess if they were to secede, they'd be completely in control of the power supply, so, you know, there's that. Bonk. Gotcha. Ah. Texas produces a lot of oil, it's the biggest industry. Yeah. See, my concern about that, though, is, yeah, it might generate a lot of revenue now, but we're not going to be able to, you know, rely on oil forever. Eventually, humanity is going to move past that. And so if, the, if Texas were to become independent tomorrow and their main export and their main, like, economic factor was oil, then once the oil money dries up, because either they run out of oil or there's just less demand for it, or... I don't know, some, some other reason. Remaining. What would they move to? Yeah, I know they have other industries there, too. You know, manufacturing and stuff like that. Very well. But they have to be very careful about it. Whereas, again, going back to California becoming independent, I feel like that would be much more resilient to that because they're so diversified. They have a massive tech industry, massive, uh, you know, shipping and stuff like that, trade. Uh, all kinds of industries going on there, really. So. But again, I don't think any state should secede. I don't, you know, they can't secede, obviously. It's just, yeah, not happening. Purely hypothetical. Boink. Ah! Die, turtle. Yes, we got it. Alright. Should be able to push this. They're trying to stall this out. Oh, I actually did get crippled there. Yikes. Your sight fails you. They 
Wait, we're mi we might actually fail this. Hold on. I'm throwing this down. I'm going to try and save this. Oh, Jonas left me. Darn. I can't believe he actually lost that. Okay. I totally did, just didn't come back from history class. Is this an economic class now? I'm bored. Oh, God. Losing viewers as we speak. My numbers are declining to zero. They're crashing and burning. Ah! Did you read what I typed? No, I didn't. Let me scroll up. How did you know I love Evie? I love her so much. She is my third least played flank on the level 17, especially since the last time I played her was December 21st, 2020, because she is too precious to even bother with. Uh, <clears throat> yes, right. Five, Definitely Earl Meyer's favorite four, flank. Three, two, uh, I'm going to do Unbound. Shock, Cripple, Arrow, Imani, Root. I need to deal with that, so. Aww. That sucks. Try not to get hooked here. My sword feels so slow without the uh, speed card. I miss it. Oop. Hit underneath the thing. Let's go. Finish that kill off like a boss. Oh, my sword was terrible there. He's going to chase that. Or not. Okay. Mm. Mistakes are being made right now. That turtle wants me. Let's just not push that angle. <laughs> Very dangerous. Overtime. Let's go say hi to Ray. JK, I'm whiffing everything and I got slowed. Ice block. Teleporting back. Uh, this is just bad right now. Oh no, the on wall. Okay. Let's just reset here for a moment. Hop over here. Maybe I can deal with Amani. Oh, his on's down. That's a bad stagger. We're going to struggle to cap this now. Actually, we won't have touch unless we get kills here soon. All right. I know Weiro's going over here. Let me help with that. And then I'm going to wait and then teleport in. Throw this down. Ice block. I don't have my cooldown reset because it's a terrible build. Ah! I'm hooked. At least I got a kill. We all got the ray, and yeah, we're gonna cap here. We got the zen. Looks good. Get more unbound, and all right, we got it. Let's also spec into some chronos for more cooldowns. Desperately need it. Am I the only one who enjoyed economics and history? I love history, dude. History is one of my favorite subjects. Always has been. My one of my first video games I ever played was Sid Meier's Civilization II on my dad's hand-me-down computer. He just happened to have it on there. And I loved it. So much so that I asked him for Civ 3. And then he bought me Civ 3. And then I played thousands of hours of Civ 3, probably. I don't actually know the number, because it didn't count. It didn't track it on my computer, because it was before Steam. I mean, Steam was there. I didn't have it on Steam, though, right? <laughs> it was a disc. It was the pre-Steam version of Civ 3. And then I got Civ 5. And I've played, like, 700 hours of Civ 5. And I got Civ 6, and I've played, like, 600 hours of that. Yes! Feed me, Sid Meier. I love your video games so much. I loved world history, but my country's history sucked to learn. I resent how schools in America teach history. At least, like, the basic history. The AP classes are fine. Those are fun. I enjoyed those thoroughly. AP Human Geography, AP Euro. That was fun. But, like, the basic world history is just... It's so dull. Because they don't get in-depth on anything. They teach you the highlights of a few uh, major things. And then it's mostly just American history. For the rest of it. Like, when you're not in the world history class. It's just like, oh, learn U.S. history. Like, f five out of your 12 years in the common, you know, school system. Woo. Congratulations. Did you know we had a civil war? And so, yeah, like... I just... I am embarrassed by how little I know about most nations in Asia and Africa and South America too like recently past few months I've been on a Mesoamerican history binge because that's fun I didn't learn nearly enough about that in school and they have freaking awesome stuff but uh yeah the only country in Africa according to American <laughs> history classes is uh Egypt there is no other country in Africa. They don't exist. 
You ever seen another African country? You ever seen Chad? No, you haven't. Chad doesn't exist. You ever hear about Molly? The Songhai? The Zulu? No. Never heard about them. Ethiopia? What the heck is an Ethiopia? And yeah, the only countries in Asia are... Okay, you get like maybe a day studying about... Oh, Genghis Khan did a thing. Uh, you get some Chinese history, I guess, although it's very bare bones for a nation that spans literal millennia. Um, maybe, maybe a bit of like uh, March, India, but seconds. more specifically, just like proto India. You know, when you're learning about Mesoamerica. Oh yeah, there was also that place in like the Indian rivers or whatever. Five, four, <laughs> three, sad. two, one. If you got Middle East as Asian, then you learn about the Islamic dynasties. Very well. I didn't learn much about his like Islamic culture at all in school. <laughs> like there was basically nothing about that I have to say. Of course, yeah, I had a very awkward like time at my school because I moved in my junior year, and then I had to like. I had to take basically the bare bones history class because for some reason one of my credits from my previous school didn't carry over and so it was just like terrible. And that's mostly the, the experience I'm counting or recounting here because it's, uh, yeah, it's the most common world history class that, you know, most people at high school took. And it was just like, it's so sad! So sad! <laughs> So yeah, I wish they would be better, because it really is an interesting subject. Huh. I mean, history is just a giant tapestry of stories woven together from the entire human experience. How is that not interesting? But school somehow manages to A, not teach enough about it, B, make it boring as crap. <laughs> it's like, brah. You're really not doing us any favors here. Not even learning about ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. No, we did cover that. That was covered. Mm. America, God forbid that you teach other history that isn't North America or West Europe, then it's anti-Western lol for whatever reason. Oh yeah, gosh. Can you imagine going to school in Florida right now? God, I feel so bad for those people. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good time. Oh, that missed. No. I love learning events, but just memorizing dates sucks. Exactly. That's how you sap the fun out of history. Oh, memorize all these boring numbers about things that you don't care about. Nah, you gotta teach it in a way that's engaging. Make people actually care about it, right? Set up a story, because it is a story. You'll make it so much more engaging. Make people actually want to learn about it. And guess what? When you learn history, you learn how not to repeat the mistakes of the past. You become better for it. You know, if you don't learn, you if you don't learn history, you're doomed to repeat it. <clears throat> ah, what are we doing again? Oh yeah, we're playing Paladins, right? <laughs> I forgot I was playing a terrible Eevee build. We got 13 kills. I guess I was competitively viable with the rest of my teammates. I died the second least on the team. Ah, oh, okay, I'll take that. Nice. <laughs> Yay! What foreign languages can you choose in the U.S. schools? I think it depends on the region. Um, Because, yeah, like, some regions will teach you certain languages that are more prevalent than others. For me, the basically, the only option was Spanish. I think there might have also been a niche Chinese or French or something. But yeah, I know at other schools you can learn, like, French and German and stuff. <clears throat> My school in DC, it's French, Spanish. Yeah, I think Spanish is by far the most popular secondary language in the United States, which which makes so much sense because most of the countries to the south of the United States, uh, the United States speak Spanish, right? I mean, Mexico speaks Spanish and it directly borders us. A lot of immigrants speak Spanish. It's just it's the most pragmatic language to learn, and it's a beautiful language too. Yes, the United States. I can't speak English. Me no speak English. My bad. Uh, what do we do after that? 
Oh, I need to take a randomized build for Lilith, right? Someone Let's do that then. Against me. So this randomized build. <laughs> Waning Moon 2. The Eye of Horus Overflowing Delights 2. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Enriched Blood 4. Oh no. Virulent 2. Oh no. Wings of Terror 5. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of trash. I'm not going to lie. At least Wings of Terror is a good card, but where's where's Blood Cannon? Why are we doing Enriched Blood 4? What is going on here? This is going to be so bad. Ah. My high school had sign language, but it was discontinued after I got into high school. Aw. Probably wasn't enough demand for it, honestly. Because, yeah. Most people aren't deaf, so most people don't have to learn sign language for that. Even though it is good to know. Here we have French and German and also Latin and Ancient Greek are mandatory. Latin and Ancient Greek are mandatory? What kind of school are you going to? I mean, I wouldn't mind learning me some Latin. <laughs> yeah, it might be a dead language, but it's a very pretty language. And it's the basis for many other pretty languages. Hmm. Bro going to magic school. Yeah, he's got to learn how to cast spells. Maybe it's... Would, it, would a Catholic school make Latin mandatory? That's like the only thing I could think of besides some really pretentious, uh, like, school sort of thing. I don't know. I'm Greek, and depending on the orientation you go, you have to take Latin. Oh, you are Greek? Oh, is that like... Huh, are you, are you like, in Greece then? They teach you to... They, they make you learn ancient Greek in Greece? I feel like that'd be really confusing. Lilith. Like, merging ancient and modern. It'd kind of be like if they taught you how to speak hey, old English. this is really awkward, but States. can you play my level 7 build in CTTM2? We are gonna go so over time today. <laughs> ah. In Washington, D.C., Spanish, German, and it's Chinese are the most spoken language here, other than Elish and um, Amharic, Ethiopian, Korean, are others. Wow. Ethiopian? Huh. Yeah, that's not surprising, though. Spanish, German, Chinese. Yeah. Pretty reasonable. My old dog, Zach, bless his soul, was completely deaf, and our family used to communicate with him using sign language. Oh, signing the dog? That's cool. I mean, that sucks that he's deaf, but I didn't realize dogs can understand sign language. I guess it makes sense. You just have to train him for it. There's a large Ethiopian community here in Washington, D.C. Really? I didn't know that. I wonder why that is. There must be a reason for it. Hmm. That's cool. When is the Sabathon? Oh, gosh. <laughs> the moon shines I've thought about doing that, but honestly, it wouldn't... Oh, my game just crashed. Okay, thanks, Paladins. I just... I don't think it would be very... A very good idea to, like, stream for, like, 24 hours or something like that. Or have that be the max limit. That's just too much. I would die. All right, don't worry about the uh, Windows notification sounds. That's me launching Paladins again. You know the whole easy anti-cheat bug. <sighs> Paladins doesn't want you to play that Lilith build either. Yeah, it said no. No Lilith build. It's trash. You're not allowed. It's too bad. Ha! <laughs> All right, slowly but surely here. Get me back in. Paladins takes 15 years to load. Most African immigrants are generally more on the east coast of the states compared to the west or the south. Yeah, I guess that that does make a lot of sense because the east coast is close proximity to Africa and the south is... <laughs> the south. So, yeah. And so it begins. And we started getting the notification after upgrading to Windows 10. Really? So it... You could play Paladins on Windows 7 still? Huh. 
Anyways, uh, yeah, it's just a bug with easy anti-cheat. It's not even really a, um, uh, a Paladin-specific issue. I hear other games with easy anti-cheat have it too, like Smite. So, something's going on with their software. They need to fix it. Alright, let's try and figure out how to play this garbage build. The swarm is going to last for barely any time at all. Relative to normal. But, uh, it will do more damage. So I guess we can throw out a damage sword. Swarm. Uh, but I'm also playing Curse of the Court because it's trash build, and so I need the extra sustain. So it's kind of working against me here, but I guess I'll throw it out anyways. Ooh, okay. Hello. Can you not? Ow, can you not? Okay. It's on purpose to prevent cheaters. No, it's not. That's not you prevent cheaters. And if it worked, then we wouldn't have cheaters. I literally ran into a cheating Koga last night playing Rocked. So, uh. <laughs> uh if only it were that simple. Alright, swarm here, do some damage. Boom, dodge that. I don't care that you rooted me, I'm going up. Oh, I actually can't go up that far, okay. He got gripped above my shot. No! Alright, good kill on Imani. Nice. Okay, bet. Hi! You're gonna stun me, I don't like that. You still win that. Now I don't have healing, though. Gosh, I don't get a reach of money in time. It's so sad. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, let me do this. There, more stuff. Ow! How dare you? Here you go. Oh, I'm gonna get stunned again. Never mind. Good kill. We're actually clobbering these guys, even though I was literally a bot for the start of this. Okay. That's great. I have made a grave mistake in my position. You no, know let's hold. You take that. I'm going in. Okay, that wasn't really that good. Let me throw this here. Nice, I'll kill that Vic. Uh, boom. Oh, come on. Live. Live. Take that. Let me scratch my forehead. Ah. Whoa, that's so cold. Man. Yikes. Right. Let's keep pushing. Let me move this to Wiro. Oh, that was a bad idea. Right, get the swarm there. Jump away with my last blood health. Alright, good. Oh, come on, Wiro. You gotta stop getting rooted. Live! Look at that swarm right there. Huge swarm placement. Alright. Yeah, we are just wrecking these guys. That is beautiful. I'm going in. Do the tech! Do the tech! Ah, I'm getting wrecked! Okay, run away. At least I lived that. Ooh, that's bad. Alright. Well... Maybe we can still push her? Well, that's gonna be awkward with Vic chasing me. Stop it on Blood Elf! Ow! Have you ever played Crusader King 3? I don't know if anybody beat that game. Don't know how anybody who beat that game? Uh, I, I have never played that. No. Not entirely sure what it is. One more kill, guys. Let's do it. That was a good Geno assault. Throw this out. Move that to you. There we go. Nice. GGs. Well, well, that was very silly. <laughs> I'm uh, glad that's over. That Lilith build was... Yeah. Bleh. Oh, yeah, my gift. I guess I'll open it. Sure. I'll show how it's a waste. What am I missing here? A retro Vivian. Blech. There we go. Yay! Event pass boosters! Yay! See, that's why you don't send me gifts. It's a total waste. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I got a diamond trove. Let's open that. Let's see what I get out of here. Maybe it's the Retro Vivian skin. More power for me oh, it's Stone Edge. Ew, go away. Queen. You know what? I'll buy this. Play the Retro Vivian skin, because I know someone gave a Booby Trap Vivian request. It's actually what we have to play up next. So you know what? I might as well. What the heck? <laughs> Need to spend these crystals from the Crystal Storm on New something. 
There the we go. Best kind of Hooray. Power. And we need to also make a new party, because it is the three-hour mark, so I guess let's just do that. Crusader Kings 3 is a grand strategy role-playing video game set in the Middle Ages, developed by Paradox Development Studio and published by Paradox Interactive as a sequel to Crusader Kings and Crusader Kings 2. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> I've not played that. <clears throat> Alright, Delta Sapphire. If I can spell it right. There you go. Um, that's the only name in the chat. Guys, okay, again, if you want to join the party, if you want to play a Paladins, say a name in the chat, I will invite you. I have to type your name in in-game. If you don't say your name in the chat, then I can't invite you in-game, and it'd be very sad. <laughs> We're just getting repeats. Okay, fine. Sure. You dods. One more space in the party. Ah, there we go. EMBX Vader. There we go. Okay. Let's go again. Play some Booby Trap Vivian. At least it's the uh, most exciting Vivian playstyle. Choose your champion. <laughs> if we can call anything about Make this character your exciting. Your own. So, yeah. Uh, that'll be cool, I guess. I don't know. Basically a simulation game, for example, if you want to be a Byzantine Empire, you can conquer and etc. Hard to explain. Oh, it's so like Civ, but different. Okay. Neat. Ah, Alright, Fernando. Nice. <clears throat> really hoping they don't have blaster spam. <laughs> I'm not on roller. I don't have the power of free headshots. Um, so yeah. I, uh, I'm not going to be a super great Vivian player here. <laughs> I'll be uh, painfully average if they have any remotely good damage champions on their team. The knee or they will break. Oh, this is fine. Double tank. I can deal with that. I can shred Yagroth. Almost makes me wish I played uh, Opportunity and Chaos. That's the damage talent, right? But nope, we have to go booby trap here, and that's all right. Because we can still use it to diff the Koga, Grover, Grok, hopefully. Age of Empires greater than save. Ooh, hot take. Hmm. Oh, skin request. That was just a bit too late. Sorry about that. Refund. There you go. Alright, booby trap. And I do have one of those builds, right? I think it's this one. I actually need to make more Vivian builds. Vivian's another character who surprisingly has good build diversity with her cards. And I didn't have enough build slots, especially because I had to steal someone else's build. So I should remember to do that at some point. Just to still not play Vivian ever. <laughs> yeah, okay. Controlling nature, nowhere to hide. That should be pretty Welcome good for this. To our timeline, traveler. Vivini, that's a new name. I actually don't recognize you. Rating with a party of 56. Welcome. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> I thought I knew everyone in the Paladins community. <laughs> I appreciate Five, that. How was your stream? Four, three, uh, two, let's do Nimble. One. There we go. The battle has begun. You unfortunately caught us at a bit of an awkward time, because I am doing viewer requests today. And I was requested to play Vivian, which I know is not exactly the most exciting character on the market, but um, we shall attempt it anyways. Let's get the shield out there, 600. Walk into the other one. No. Didn't explode. He dashed past it. All right, I heard that explode there. Let me throw another one on that pillar. That should be good. Uh, they dropped out Fernando, though. It's going to be hard to do a lot of damage on that Terminus because of the Siphon spam. Get the shield up. Throw this back there. Just try and trap this whole area. Oh, I think they destroyed it. Yeah. Got that reveal on Grover, though. Know where he is. He's very healthy right now. All right, let me throw that there. Just a free explosion, hopefully. All right, I hit the Grok. Man, I really kind of wish I could play Opportunity in Chaos here. <laughs> Such a high sustained comp. Alright, Delta's getting some kills. That's good. Let me knock you back out of position. Boom, there we go. Huge kill. Come here, Grok. Yeah, I am the superior chicken. <laughs> Alright, let's get an ult up. Here we go. I think Terminus counters Vivian. He can, yeah. She can't really run away if he plays the right build, but also... Yeah, the Siphon is annoying. Although the Siphon is more annoying for everybody, not just Vivian. But yeah, look at him. I can't run away. I also slow myself when I shoot, which really does not help me. 
That's why we need to max out Nimble. And you know what? Just for fun, just dead. do something different and be spicy. I'll buy Lethality. Probably also get Trigger sent for the extra damage, too. It seems good to me. In this situation, you know. Enemy killing spree. Some damage here. I'm out of position, though. Hit him to chase me. Right into the 600. Boom. Yeah. Uh, ooh, okay. This is bad. This is pretty bad. Let's see what I can do. I'm not a controller player, though. I can't track him perfectly. Bleh. Vasco da Gama, Mr. Andrew? Nothing more? Oh, I don't know what that means. I'm learning Spanish, but I don't understand these words. It almost sounds like a name. Is that a name? I don't know. I hope I didn't say anything bad. There's always a chance <laughs> when I say Spanish words, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what is what does the word puta mean? I've never heard of that. Oh. Oops. Oh, no. Anyways. Koga's coming around. I see him. You're not sneaky. I have reveal drones. Come here. It's a soccer team from Brazil. Oh, wait. So that's not even Spanish. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, yeah. No wonder I didn't understand it. Okay, well, good. Yagaroth ult fails. Uh, Koga, you need to go away, please, sir. Take that. Pop ult. Oh, I don't win this. I don't win this. I need healing. I need healing. Where's our healer? Oh, there's a gourd, but I'm just dead. Ah, oh, man. Out of position. I'll do some life rip as well, since I'm doing a lot of damage this match. Not really getting many kills, but I just need the survivability. Need to stack up some brawn, considering how much they have, you know? Where's my shield up? Yeah, I can get a ton of healing from this, hopefully. Oh, uh, Koga diff. Rock's going in. I think I just need to run. I'm stunned. I can't even shoot. I'm just dead. They're pushing me for free. Ah! It's a shame because we have double support too, but it's just not working out for us as well as theirs is because they have so much more brawn from their tanks. Terminus is doing a lot of work. And Grok's really good in an onslaught match like this situation. You got double tank just popping off like that. Get that Totemic Ward going. I'm going to have to reload in the face of this Koga. Okay. Uh, he's gonna be coming around underneath, I think. Let me just move my way over here. Maybe we can get that Grok down? He's gonna Ghost Walk. Uh, I'm not chasing that. Mm. Stop! Ah, this Terminus, I can't counter him at all. You're right, Terminus does destroy Vivian, oh wait. Minus Type in Google and he's a Portuguese explorer. Oh, I knew that sounded somewhat familiar in terms of being a name. Ah! Oh, really? Really? Bro, I'm just getting farmed in spawn right now. There's nothing I can do with Vivian in this match. She's just kind of useless here. If I'm playing Booby Trap instead of Opportunity in Chaos. I need that extra damage. I need the infinite ammo. I just need to spam. This is not working out for me. And even still, their tanks are pushing me for free. Koga's pushing me for free. I wish I wasn't the only damage champion on the team besides Koga. <laughs> we need more damage to fight this comp. We need, like, three damage champions instead. Ooh, there we go. Got him. Gotta worry about that Koga coming around now. Let me farm you up. Heal myself. Barely healing myself, but, you know, I guess it's healing. Okay, reload. Get this out. Oh, man, he's dead. There's 600, though. Shred him while his siphon is down, if we can. Should fall soon. Yep. Nice. Oh, not nice, not nice, not nice, not nice, not nice. Not nice. Not even a little bit nice. No, very bad, very bad. Okay. Ow. You forgot Guardian for your shield. I'm not buying Guardian for my shield. Are you kidding me? No. Um, Lethality is really not working out for me. I'm not getting kills. I'll do Deft Hands for more damage output. My items are all over the place because I want to be silly, but I want to be practical at the same time. So I'm trying to find a hybrid of both. Not playing infinite ammo, but I need infinite bullets. So I guess reload speed is the answer. And healing in any way I can. Let's help these supports out with the Koga. He's one. I would love a heal, though. Got the Gord. Thank you. Ah. Okay. That does feel a lot nicer, reloading with Vivian with Deft Hands. Oh, my. All right, there goes you. Let's get the drone down. That's 600. Pop the ult. 
I need to remember to scope in. I never scope in with this character, but I, that's how I get my booty trap back. Gotcha. Another one of these down on the point. Try and get you away. Blast you around a little bit. I'm so grouped in there. Okay. Charging down Grover. Oh, light him up. Why did that not explode? That was right in his face. Why? What? The booby trap would have killed him. What happened? I just got scammed! Why is this technology not working? Okay. Thanks, game. What a robbery, dude. Alright. Well. Don't rely on the booby traps, then. They're useless. Oh, there's 600. Would have been better if it did that earlier! I'm probably just dead here. Yeah, I'm just dead. Ugh. Can't get away from their damage. The spirits do not yeah, this is just GG. They absolutely win on point presence here. Playing a beefcake comp like that and Onslaught is a surefire way to victory, honestly. What the heck? Where did my shield go? It was like shredded like paper. They don't even have Wrecker. Ah, this is so annoying. Why did you make me play Vivian? Okay, goodbye. Come here, let me shred you. You're so one. Alright, good job, Ray. Let me delete Grok here. There we go, get old back up. Still have a minute to maybe turn this around, but it's not looking likely. Okay, and she's just rolling around. That's fine. Do some damage to that Grover. I want to leave my flank vulnerable, though. I'll throw a sensor drone there. Mm, maybe we can kill her here? I'm doing no damage, man. And the siphon's annoying. I'm just feeding it. She's got armor plating three, veteran three. Yeah, no wonder it feels like I can't kill her. Well, we haven't let them score in a, in a minute. <laughs> I don't know if we'll recover enough points in time, though, if we keep going at this pace. It'll be close. As long as we don't let them, you know, just push us for free. Gotta get them off that point. Oh, man. Uh, there goes Grok. That's good. Ow. Reload speed OP. Yes, there we go. Huge. Live that. Slay the Grover. Good. Don't get too close to the Terminus. He just wrecked my ult drone, but I'll have another one soon. Get the Ag. Stop him from stalling. There we go. He's gonna have Ghost Walk for me. Yeah, that's okay. We can throw that down. Boom. Force Grover away. Only 20 seconds left to get 100 points. I don't think it's possible. Even if we play perfectly here. I don't think the math works out. Yeah, no, especially if they get another kill. That just adds to the detriment. Oh, man. Yeah, they win this in the end. That's a shame. GG's, I guess. <sighs> what do you think of console PC aim assist? Wait, so console and PC aim assist? I mean... Console aim assist on, like, Xbox is fine. The problem, as wonderfully illustrated by, uh, I believe it was an NTB's video recently, uh, the problem with aim assist becomes a lot stronger, or the problem is that it becomes a lot stronger when you increase the frame cap. So, like, you know, consoles are locked to 60 FPS for Paladins. But if you go higher than that, if you go to, like, 144, or let's cap out 170, which is the base max frame rate for this game, then your aim assist will be a lot stronger, which is very reasonable for most PC players to get, because Paladins is not a hard game to run. But then also, you can unbind the FPS by uh, tweaking the settings uh, with the config, uh, and you can just set your frame rate to like 300, or 500, or whatever, and when you do that, it's just astronomical how much of a difference it makes, and if you have a powerful computer, you can just... <laughs> you can basically have your computer working overtime to give you effectively legal aim hacks. So, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, it is, you know, on theory, on paper, if you cap the frame rate at 60 on PC, it's the exact same aim assist as console. But when you have higher frame rate, it does become stronger. And you can see that. In, yeah, let me let me show you the video. If you're curious, if you want to have a look. Um, yeah, it should just be down in my community tab. 
Yeah, right here. This video by NTBs. Go watch that. It's on my community tab. Just scroll down a little bit. 12 days ago. Like, yeah, it's basically... It's so much stronger. <laughs> like, I could plug in the controller right now. I have 300 FPS as my cap on this game. Because I have a 4090, and by golly, I'm going to use my 4090. And, yeah, I, my aim assist would be so much stronger. Not five times as stronger as 60 FPS. It doesn't work that way. It's not directly proportional like that. But it would be stronger, objectively. Especially because you also get to, you know, add in the extra benefits of, like, yeah, no input delay and other goodies that PC has. Okay, well, 9 kills there, 11 deaths, 131,000 damage. Such a high damage output game for us, but we weren't able to get any freaking kills. Because <laughs> the enemies were just so dominant there. Koga was just farming us, and their tanks were basically unkillable. I wish we knew how much aim assist controller gets, because for Apex, it's 0.6. I don't know if it's the same as Paladins. I don't even know what point six means. But yeah, like, whenever people complain about aim assist, they're usually talking about PC aim assist, where, yeah, you are uncapping your frames or setting the cap higher, or even playing within the cap, but still playing at a much higher frame rate than what the consoles can get. Because, yeah, I don't think it's particularly Select busted if you're... Timmy on his Xbox at 60 FPS just playing Paladins, right? What am I doing after Vivian? Um, oh, I have to do the Eevee build again. Ah, uh, okay. Make your champion your own. Whatever. And then after that, we got to do Max Teleport Kinesa. And then we got to play the Eevee build again. And then we got to play Stealthy's Level 7 build. Listen, I don't have enough. I'm going to have to end off soon. I think I'll, I might just have to do this. And then do Teleport Knessa and then call it, because we're already over time for today. Probably unpopular opinion, but aim assist is rendered useless when you're playing against an actual very skilled PC player. It really depends on the character. Especially because if you're also skilled at console, then... Or not skilled at console. If you're also skilled at controller and you're up against a skilled PC player, you still might have an advantage in some cases. If, yeah you're on that higher level of aim assist and you're playing a character that works well with it because to an extent with higher you know upgraded aim assist as we could call it your tracking will to some degree be better than what is physically possible for a person to do unless they're like nasty godlike right like just insane and yeah certain characters like Eevee, Maeve and Vatu can be good against them but yeah, like for an average matchup, if you have, if you give a PC controller player, like Koga or Talos or whatever, they will just laser you, you know? <clears throat> I, I recommend watching the video I just pointed out. It's a very good demonstration of exactly what I'm talking about. It, it sums it all up way better than I possibly could. So just go watch that. Free promotion for NTVs. It's a good video. Alright, so yeah, we gotta use this trash build again. Cold Acclamation, Fighting Cold 5. Never use this build. Never use it. It's just, it's it's hot garbage. It's the worst Eevee build you can possibly make. And we're up against We Are On 7. Okay, armor plating time. Five, Great. four, three, two. And this is one. legally allowed in ranked. Let the battle begin. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. Personally, I'm okay with being able to, like, set your frame rate to 300 or whatever. Most games allow you to set your frame rate. Like, to whatever cap you want. I suppose on the opposite end, if you wanted to set it lower, you should also be able to do that, right? Like, you want to play at 60 FPS, lock it to that, you should be able to. Ah. Uh, the only reason you can't do it in Paladins, like, normally, like, if you're on a... Well, I guess, I don't know if you can change your frame rate on console, but, like, you have to, you, you, you need a bit more know-how to do it in Paladins, because instead of actually just putting it in the settings like any normal, reasonable game, like Overwatch, frickin' Minecraft, Warframe, whatever you want, right? So, yeah, like, you have to go into the config files and you have to, like, type it in, but I think it should be allowed to change your frame rate. I would like it if they just actually made it a proper setting. Put a hard cap on it of like, oh, okay, so you can vary your max frame rate to be like between, I don't know, 170 and 600 or whatever. 
I think that's what Overwatch does, because I was looking at my frame rate in Overwatch, and I think the max I remember seeing was 600, but just do something like that. It should be uncontroversial to have a high frame rate, I mean. The only controversy of even having it at all is because, yeah, it affects your aim assist, but like, if you're a keyboard player with high frame rate, what the heck, why not? Perfectly fine. Pop off, game. Killing spree. Use your good PC. Enjoy it. It should be fine. Together we'll rule this land. Hello. Bonk. Gotcha. Dang, I was kind of like half looking at chat for that. My EV skills are too strong. Here, take this. You like all this damage, Barrack? That's right, I'm over the moon. Get shredded. You're glancing low. Hit the wall. Alright. I want to hit this Willow. Once, and... No, I missed that. I'm about to get feared. Crap. Ah, I just wanted to hit the Willow, man. <sighs> I tried playing on console a while back, and I could not. Not only is there a delay, it just felt horrible. I wondered how I started off on Switch. Yeah. Switch did not feel good. I tried Paladins on Switch. It was miserable. Like, as much as it sucks that those people no longer have an option to play, uh, it's it's just, it's a good thing it's off the of Switch. The Switch port was terrible. With a capital T. Terrible. And, honestly, <laughs> feels more like they were released from their suffering. I think it was a good thing overall. Especially because it allows the other... Uh, ports of the game to shine better, because you no longer have to dumb the game down for Switch in terms of what you can do uh, mechanically with, like, what you can program, what you can build in this game, right? You can bring back map features now, and stuff like that. All because Switch is dead. Especially with Switch players randomly crashing. Oh, yeah, that too. Like, it was a nightmare. A veritable nightmare. Why did that direct hit not kill him? Where did you get that DR from, sir? Die. You're on the DR card. You're not? Okay, genuinely, where did that DR come from? I'm so confused. How did he get DR? <laughs> that was a direct hit in the forehead! Re. Alright, um... No bonus damage from me. Uh, wait, we're we losing? Why are we losing? Oh uh, yeah, I can't chain my abilities, because this build is trash, right? Forgot. Uh... Bonk. He just left. Okay, whoops. Oops. Hit somebody. Are they gonna chase me in here? Here, Koga. Oh, there he is. What are you doing, Koga? I got healing, too. We both got healers. Ooh, my healer wants to kill you. This is just not happening. I don't know what we're doing right now. Let me blink back up here. I'm just going around in circles right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Do not rest. Enemy killing spree. Enemy double kill. There we go. And run away. Do I get away with the deed? Probably not. Seven's chasing me. Crap. Oh, I missed that. No, Koga's lasering me. Okay. Ah. Not gonna win that 1v2 in their back line. Uh, let me get more Kronos. Just max it out. This does. Haven't seen Talos around that much these days. Yeah, I haven't really seen much Talos either. I have seen more Koga since the buff, which I really like the buff. I haven't played much Koga since the buff, but maybe I should. I do like Koga. He's my go-to main when I do rarely play controller. But I do like him on PC too. He's a fun character. I don't play him enough. Oh, I almost hit that. Just whiffed. Ah, I don't know how much of a discussion aim assist has been for PC controller, but as a roller player who's been on PC for two years now, I think it should be nerfed IMO. Yeah, it should be. I think they're looking into it, but they do have to be careful. You don't want to nerf aim assist so hard that it accidentally, like, makes the experience unplayable for controller players on console. You know, who don't have this crazy raw advantage, right? Because that is a major chunk of the player base, and without... You know, some form of aim assist, a lot of players are just going to straight up get farmed by, like, you know, PC players. 
keyboard players, I mean. It's one of those things that I would, you know, it has to be nerfed. I hope they take their time with it and do it right. It's one of those things that you do not want to get wrong. Ah! Like, I am a fan of the design philosophy of making sure you do something right instead of just rushing it out. This game has rushed stuff out in the past, unfinished, half-finished, and it has not done the game favors. And it gives you a bad reputation, but it also just makes the products bad. That's not what you want. You want people to actually stick around. Uh, he might have ult here. Oh, never mind. Hard-rooted. Nice. This is still a surprisingly close game. Oh, stop it, Wero. Go away. I should not blink there. Okay, gotta heal. Ooh, don't get lit on fire. Good. No sevens over here. E. Okay. Ah. Glancing blows. So many glancing blows right now. Yikes. Huge Genos mark. Oh, thank you, Genos. Missed that shot. <laughs> Almost failed that. Oh, you dots took that? Okay. Oh, he's so won. Yes, got him. Huge. Uh, gonna slowly chase that Willow. Actually, I'm gonna get broke instead. There we go. Just dump 2k into him. Beautiful. Where is he going? Just flew so far away. Jeez. I'm struggling to hit him there. That range, man. I don't even know where he went. Just not gonna worry about it. Let's reset here a little bit. Oh, come on, Genos. No, Genos. Oof. A lot of bursts as soon as I left that ice block. Uh, let's do Veteran, become tankier. Max out armor plating. Let's do Morale Boost, final item. Oh, they actually brought this back around. They could win. We gotta stop them. I can't lose with the worst Eevee build in the game. I have honor to uphold. There we go. Got one. Block some of that damage there. Just gonna throw this down. No Grove Rolt for you. Cancel the sword early and blink up here because the sword is so slow. What was that kill? Justin, are you wall hacking? How did he. How, huh? How did he know? Was he shooting at someone behind me? Was there someone behind me I didn't know about? Okay. He was behind me. I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. Ah, he didn't know. There's 1k. Damage here and there. Okay, we got him. Appreciate the help from my healers. Ooh, he's low. Nice. All right. I don't get ammo on my sore. Okay, good. Nineteen seconds left. We can still lose this. We should be careful. Ooh, Genos is gone. Get you off of there. Okay, we win now. We win. Not dying, though. Hold on. Ah! No, poor Ray. Alright, we got it, though. GG's. Nice. Your EV is impressive, even with this trash build. Thank you. <laughs> Andrew has aim assist on mouse. That's why he's cheating. Yes. <laughs> Nah, I have so much EV experience. I how many hours do I have on this character now? I always want to say like a hundred, but that was the statistic I remember from like probably a year ago. Let me just look and see. It's gonna be a lot. Uh, let me sort by time played. EV should be second. Yeah, so Bomb King in first. With 375 hours, I have 181 hours of Eevee experience. So yeah, I'd say I'm pretty comfortable with hitting shots on Eevee. <laughs> I, I've played just a little bit of this character. Gosh, I have spent so much time playing this game. You add up all these hours, it's well in the thousands. 
uh, I'm sitting on my computer rotting away playing this game, but you know what? I'm making money from it, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of time on Makoa, Grok, Barrick, Fernando. I still don't understand how this happened. It's seriously like I had some sort of fever dream, played a bunch of Victor, woke up and forgot it all. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Um, yeah, Drogos, although I don't play Drogos much anymore. Androxus, a lot of that was from a few years ago. Pip, yeah, Grover, yeah. I'm surprised he's only level 85 with 102 hours played. 96 hours a buck, wow. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum behind me, you can't see it, I have 16 hours on Omen. That's 16 hours too many. <laughs> yeah, more hours on Kasumi than Omen, but she's been out for, you know, a year longer than Omen, so that's why. And it's, um, actually, no, it's, uh, it's two more minutes. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I moved the wrong camera. It's, it's two more minutes. You can barely see it, it's, it's two. It's a difference of two. <laughs> Amazing! Yes! All right. <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, uh, let's go again. And yeah, we're going to do the max teleport Knessa. Let me make sure my build is up to date. Boss fight. Or Knessa. the goofy meme build. Is this it? Uh, that's Bob and Weave with ammo on transporter. I think that's what we want. So let's do it. Absolutely trolling. Two minutes more wasted. You can't get back. Yeah, I will never be able to get back that time I spent playing pre-rework Kasumi. Post rework, eh, still don't really care for her, but, you know, she's there, at least. She's better. But pre-rework Kasumi, oh gosh. I had to play so much of that from you guys trolling me. Terrible. Knessa. Make your champion <laughs> your own. Yeah, at least she's playable. Mm -hmm. Most of the characters that I have the most amount of time on are old characters. But that's not necessarily because they're old, it's just because they're fun. To me, a lot of the older characters in this game are more fun than newer characters, with very few exceptions. Like Vora and Azan being newer characters that are more fun. It's still... I real, I recognize that it feels weird for me to call Vora an, a newer character. Because to... You know, cause she, she's many years old now, and to some players, Vora's been in the game since they started playing. But, um... I started playing in 2017, Vora wasn't going to come out for a few more years from then, so... I still consider her to be a newer character. Nerd's a geek, did not make a selection. Nerd, what are you doing? Okay. Vora is four years old. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm ancient. You can see the gray hairs all over my head. If there are any hairs left up there. Uh, I'm a grandpa. I'm so old. Uh. <clears throat> Man. Hmm. But yeah, I just, I feel like older characters also aren't as annoying as newer characters, you know? A lot of newer characters that they've released have just really been annoying to deal with for a lot of community members, right? Betty, Seven, uh, some people don't like playing against Rey, although I think she's one of the better designs from recent times, even though I don't enjoy playing her as much. I still think she's very unique and I like that. But, uh, <laughs> Azan on release, Select although he's another character champion. I like. Kasumi. Ugh. Yeah. Make your and then you go order. back in time and you have Androxus, which... Okay, that's probably a bad example, but you also have Maeve. Very great example. Eevee, very cultured character. Bomb King, everyone loves Bomb King, dude. Bomb King is freaking awesome. Makoa is new to me. Ah, yes, my favorite new tank, Makoa. What year did you start streaming YouTube videos of Paladins? Uh, 2017. That wasn't when I started streaming, but that was when I started making videos. I didn't start streaming until a few years later. But yeah, I started making Paladins videos like a week after I started playing this game, I think. So, yeah. Before that, I made Minecraft videos, and <laughs> I was kind of a variety YouTuber. Uh, I didn't get any views, it's but business, <laughs> I uploaded that. For some reason, I uploaded Civ 3 videos and thought that would be a good idea. It wasn't. Um, I uploaded TerraTech videos. I actually had some pretty popular TerraTech videos back in the day. 
They got a few thousand views. Let me see. Let me sort by date. Look at some of these old, old videos. Um, bah, 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 How far do I have to scroll for Terratech? Out here did I upload Terratech after Paladins? Executioner. Oh, I guess I did. Hmm. Uh. Where did these videos go? Hmm. Ah, there's one. Yeah, 6,000 views. There was another one I thought popped off. Maybe it's in the next page. Yeah! How to build a base in Terratech. Oh, with the old intro, too. Look at this. 20,000 views. That's not bad for six years ago. Three minute long video. It was terrible, but, uh... Yeah. Mm -mm. Old but gold, as they say. All right, we're going to do reposition meme build here. Uh, probably going to get some armor plating as well for Leon. Three, and then maybe two, switch into Deft Hands, depending one. on how much I'm reloading. The battle has begun. We'll see. The old intro. It's actually... There's an older intro than that. And I think the video I just clicked on, thankfully, is from the time after I corrected the audio. Because for a few videos... Um, <laughs> oh, man. It was, like, way louder than the rest of the video. You'd click on the video and get your ears blown out. On one of my videos, my first, like, truly monstrously popular video was my How to Farm Gold Guide in Paladins. And that video um, had that intro that was blasting people's ears. That was so bad that I actually went into the YouTube editor and cut it out. That's one of the only times I've ever used the YouTube video editor, but I had to. It was getting, <laughs> it was getting relatively dislike bombed because of it, which was fair enough. And in hindsight, it was a really bad idea. But um, I nipped that in the bud, and the guide became a lot more useful. And that's still one of the best videos I ever made in terms of catapulting my channel's success. Hidden minecart chest storage system. Oh yeah. Uh, I wonder what it'd be like if I made Minecraft videos again. I did make one like. I made one Minecraft video a few years ago. I don't know, remember why I did, but I tried to make it a bit better. I don't remember how successful it was. I only think it got a few thousand views. Um, yeah. It was like some explosive grenade thing. I think I discovered how to make some sort of like cool grenade using command blocks, and then I just like shared how to do it. You can probably look it up. If you have enough sleuthing skills anyways. Hello. Neil. No. <laughs> okay. Have you ever played TF2? Yeah, I have one TF2 video on my channel. If you want to go watch that. It was my first experience with TF2. And also one of my last. Although I did play TF2 quite a few times after making that video. I just didn't upload any videos on it. Because I was trying to get into the game. But I just, I've never been able to get into it because of all the bots. Just annoying. Makes me want to not play the game. Because if you can't fix your public matchmaking, then, like, something is horribly wrong. Like, I get that Paladins has bad matchmaking. But at least it doesn't have a bot crisis like TF2 does. Our bot crisis is having, like, one bot every ten matches. That's not the annoying type of bot or the cheating bot. It's just a, a, a literal bot because someone crashed. And then they come back, and then it's whatever. It's not nearly as bad as TF2. Andrew Chicken Minecraft server Just when? Dying. I did have a realm, which I played on with some friends. That was the closest we ever got to a Minecraft server. Played with some people on the Discord server. But, uh, yeah, I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. Alright, uh, let me throw mine there. I know Vora's coming around. So we'll get that free damage on her. Get that Furia ult. I didn't even realize I had. Keep it back here. Uh, Alright, I'm going back up here. Goodbye. Throw mine there. We are going to fail this defense so hard. What are we doing? We're getting farmed right now because I'm doing tickle damage with my carbine. Because I'm not playing a real build. By the way, Andrew, give me the password to your realm. I can't, Erlenmeyer, because I, I stopped paying for it. There is no more realm. <laughs> I canceled my Realm subscription like a year and a half ago. <laughs> what is this Knessa playstyle? It's very goofy. It's basically like uh, 
bootleg Tracer at home. Koga is already the, we have Tracer at home because of the SMGs and the dashes. But then this is like, we have Koga at home. <laughs> it's like, Five, uh, four, it's next three, level bootleg. Two, <laughs> and it's terrible. They should buff the carbine damage, honestly. That would be fun. Turn her into uh, Knessa 76 or uh, Knessian. No Knessaira? Knesktor? I don't know. I don't think any of those sound as good as Knessa 76. You know, kind of stealing from Widow 76. It's awkward, don't worry about it. You can't hit me with that. I can teleport. Look at me, I'm gonna do it again. Goodbye. Here, take another mine. Goodbye. I'm leaving. My mines are doing so much damage. Yes, let's go. Ooh, nicely on stead. Let me just help touch point real quick. Wow, I took a lot of damage. Okay, goodbye. Thank you for that tier one sub. I appreciate that. 31 months, yo. Almost hit that three year mark, just like Jamie earlier today. And back I come till my will be done. I've only run into a few noticeable ones, especially compared to CS2. Uh, what, cheaters and paladins? Yeah, Paladins does still have its cheaters, but I, yeah. Kneel. It is a problem. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I literally ran into one last night playing ranked. But compared to TF2, oof. I don't play enough CS to know how many cheaters there are, but I assume there are a good amount of cheaters in there, too, because it's another Valve game. I think they care about CS2 a little bit more than TF2, because, you know, it's kind of their breadwinner. But, eh, yeah. <laughs> still. It's kind of funny how, like, I played Valve's, you know, PvE games, right? Their single-player games, like, okay. a few months ago, back in August, November. Or not August, October, November. Um, and they were a blast, and I loved them. But I have not enjoyed a single PvP Valve game. I don't like CS. Maybe I'd like TF2 if it wasn't run like a piece of junk, in terms of, you know, how much Valve actually cares for the game. Kind of silly. Ow! No! Okay. It's like Eevee, but you can't fly. Yeah, Eevee, but you can't fly and you don't have the right weapon for the job. Oof. CS2, there are multiple cheaters every game right now. It's actually crazy. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, I like the idea of CS. Although I still kind of find it weird that they... Or I, I still kind of find... Uh, eh. Why can't I speak? I find it weird that they did an Overwatch 2 and decided to replace CSGO with CS2, even though CS, like, Source is still available. Or, like, the original CS or whatever that is. Like, wouldn't you want CSGO to also exist, too? I don't know, it's kind of weird. <clears throat> but yeah, I've just never been able to get into the whole gunplay of the game. Because, I mean, it's just so awkward. To me. I like to move around a lot, and most of the games I play, I like to strafe a lot and move around a lot and just shoot, right? It's fun. But for some reason, the characters in CS have the limpest arms ever, and they can't control their weapons to save their life. Like, the recoil and, you know, spread and all that is just like, woo! If you dare decide to move your legs at the same time, which honestly kind of feels unrealistic to me. I get that guns have recoil, but like, I'm pretty sure soldiers walk. <laughs> Last I checked. So, yeah, it, it feels weird. So then it makes me want to use, like, shotguns and SMGs, but then those weapons are just kind of bad compared to the meta of everyone opping or using the AK. And it's like, oh, okay. Guess I just won't play then. Not for me. How long have you been gaming? Since I was a wee lad. I only really got into FPS games when I... Yeah, about when I started playing Paladins. 2017, got into Paladins. Tried a bunch of games. I had a friend who bought all kinds of bundles and always had just, like, extra copies of games to give out for some reason. <laughs> I think it was, like, called the Humble Bundle or something like that. He was always just buy those and then, you know, give me a game to be like, hey, let's play. So, like, I got into the Payday franchise. I got into Warframe. I tried CS. I tried all this different stuff around that time. spawning in 15 seconds. First games that I played? Oh, I... <laughs> I caught my dad playing on the Sega Genesis, decided to play some Sonic, got addicted. Five, um, four, and I also three, played uh, two, on my mom's SNES. I uh, basically just used their hand-me-downs as my first video games. 
All right, uh, yeet, yeet. I don't know why we're still in this game match right now, but um, I guess we are. So let's play video games then. Hello, Damba. We get some more ammo and just yeah, ta 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 ta. Yes. All right, Rom. Eat this damage. Yeah, I'm real intimidating. Haha. <laughs> yes. Killing spree. Oh, oh, magnificent. Good job, Caspian. Let's get a mine there. Hit them as they come around the corner. Okay, I'll get another one up there. There we go. Beautiful. Give me that sweet free damage. Look at it. Oh, it's so great. Okay. Okay. Furia, please look at me. Stare into my soul, please. Ow. Okay, I think we're fine. Got a mine there. There goes Rom. We actually capped this? No way. What the heck? How are we doing this? Bonk. Oh, I need to reload. We got it, though. Good. Alright, I'll just throw mine up there. Blast you off your horse. Let's get one on that wall right there, I think. There we go. Alright, I'm running away. Give me that movement speed. Yes. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to pop around the right. I imagine someone might try and come in here. Throw mine on the ceiling. Oop, Io's here. Look at all that extra damage. That's so nice. Ooh, thank you. Is she gonna chase that? Nope. Just gonna go in. Mmm, couldn't kill her before the stun went out. Alright, that was a risky gamble and it did not pay off. We'll do more nimble. I'll do a bit of deft hands. Uh, and then veteran. There we go. Actually winnable? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. They were clobbering us. Now they're not. I don't know what changed. Maybe I just got good at the best Knessa playstyle in the game. Haha. -ha. Yes. Me and my 56 damage at that range. Let's go. Does anyone know I'm here? They do now. Um. Okay. Let me throw mine up there. So if they come in this room. Or if they get hooked into this room, we get extra damage. We get Io. She's really out of position right now. Yes, good. Uh, you should die here. Yep, there we go. Huge. Should be careful right now. Got my TP back. Oop, nope. Not dealing with that. Ah. Need to cleanse Cauterize for a second. Okay, she's just dealing Makoa. That's fine. I'll go up here. Makoa's more worth the teal anyways, and we just roll the payload through. And Io's off the map! Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Brilliant. More veteran. Boom. I know they are tiring, but are you going to have any sumo builds in the near future? Oh, yeah, I should totally do a sumo stream soon. It's been a while since the last one. I might do that Wednesday. Actually, there are trials Wednesday. Maybe I'll do it Friday. I don't know. You reminded me of that, though. I actually kind of forgot. Spawning in 15 seconds. Yeah, sumos with the new items. Yeah, we totally got to do that. You're right. Good idea. Ah, okay, it all comes down to this. We don't really have that many ults, although we're really coming up on a Furia one soon. So let's try and win this here. Should be able to do it as long as we don't play stupidly. So let's not play stupidly. Throw mine up there. I was actually aiming that at the ceiling, but that was kind of a floppy throw. I don't know what happened there. Ah, he's pulverizing me. Get that ammo back, though. I'm going to TP to this side. Get even more bonus damage. It's not enough. Wow, he's tanky. My team is popping off with that Furia ult, though. Kazumi's just going to tank it, but it doesn't apply Kaudara, so it instantly gets healed back up. And we are destroying them right now. Good job, guys. I know I'm definitely not the reason we're winning this match right now. <laughs> That's for sure. It's all on you. Turtle's dead. And we actually don't get vengeance on the Vora. That was... Oh, never mind. That was almost a free kill. Oh, let me get a mine over there. Not sure what her plan was with that. Okay. Well, I know Leon's coming around the side, so let me get ready to deal with her. Actually, I'm hard chasing that right now. She doesn't have healing. Nice, Furia finishes that. Alright, I'm going back here. Rom's dead. Let's get a mine in the center. And, yeah, they totally lose this here. 
Good stuff, guys. GG's. Carbine only Nessa wins again. Yeah, let's go. Maybe for more diversity, you could have themed days too, i.e. Flank Friday stream. Yeah, I did a lot of flanks last week, though, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, nine kills, eight deaths. Basically same KD as Makoa, except I did get more assists. 105,000 damage. Kasumi was definitely the one carrying that, though. 17 and 10. Absolutely popped off one as that game. Very nice. I think we're going to have to call it now, though. We are about at the four-hour mark. I know I didn't get to all the redeems, but, I mean... <laughs> The rest of the redeems are just playing the silly Eevee build again. That's really bad. I've already done that twice. So I think that's enough for today. Because I do really need to end the stream now. So, um, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure, of course, to follow me here on Twitch. Check out YouTube and Discord linked in the About section down below. And if you want to support me, I know I've already received a ton of support today. But for anyone else who's interested, make sure you're subscribing. You get to watch ad-free. You get some exclusive emotes. And if you already have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe at no extra cost to you. It's just the best for all of us, except Jeff Bezos, because you're just taking money out of his pocket and giving it to me. So, pretty good deal if you ask me. And uh, also, you can check out the Nexus, nexus.gg slash Chicken. You can buy crystals there and support me in the process. But yeah, with all that being said, we've got to go find somebody to raid. All right, chat, do you want Nerd or do you want Slugger today? Those are your two options, it seems. Ah, awkward, we don't get to see you. Flats? No, I'm not reading flats. I'm not doing it. Alright, we got one vote for nerd, two vote for nerd. Three votes for nerd. I'm not reading flats. I know he streamed for 24 hours. He needs a break. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're doing nerd then. Here we go. Wonderful. <clears throat> So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.